can see what's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Mappy! Isn't he a dreamboat?
music is today? Adjust your mic. Adjust your mic. Okay. What do you want me to do? That was perfect. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. All right. What are you doing over there? (laughs) Are you filling the stapler? Is that bad? Achoo! Music's off. Okay. Starting soon. Tell me when we're live. Dun, we're live. It's on. Oh, well, I'm it's refilling live. the stapler. <laughs> She's refilling the stapler, everybody. All done. The stapler needs needs a refilling. A I'm not one to over. sit still. There we go. I got to do something. She's got to do stuff. she got to get stuff done. We got, we got this new dramatic music to open with. Welcome once again, boys and girls, dogs and cats, canaries and kids off their beds. It's time for another glorious, glorious edition of Minecraft Couples Therapy Edition, starring Mama Dynamite. Hello. And Jackson Dynamite. Hello. And kids in their underwear. Oh. They are. You're, don't come on camera, kids. Now, if you act now, you can get this show every Friday from about 9.30 to 11.30-ish ish, for the simple low, low price of your Prime sub subscription. Now, if you don't act now, if you don't act now and you don't have Prime, Amazon Prime sub subscription stuff, well, I'll take your $5 from your wallet. Cheers. Hopefully that was enough time for Mama Dynamite. To fill a stapler. I finished the stapler and put away a geometry kit. And now we put you on hold while we talk to a kid in underwear. (laughs) Beep! Beep! We're back. <laughs> oh, kids in underwear. Oh, they're you're, so cute. You're so crazy. Precious. You're crazy. I think tonight in the show, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish building. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Hey, that drink looks darker than the one I gave you. <laughs> what? Well, you know what, Nappy? I added a little bit of something to it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, oh, it's that is all Nappy. Bad guys. Isn't he a dreamboat? What is he saying? That's Wendy. I just gave Nappy his intro. So mm-hmm. tonight we've got the Mad Lib. So we're going to start all shows. we got the Mad Lib tonight. Looks like we have adjectives, nouns, plural nouns, verb ending in ing, mm. verb ending in ing, mm. adjectives, food, plural, adjectives, a vehicle, Ooh. food, plural, Arma, welcome to the chat, sir. A vehicle. Something alive, plural. Something alive, plural. Nouns, adverbs. We got everything tonight on the Mad Lib. Wow. And again, I'm going to leave the subject of this Mad Lib off to the side because I think it, if I tell you the subject, it might steer in the words that you want. So Keep it neutral. And then we've got the uh, dating tip. we got the marriage tip all queued up. We're going to talk about Rosalind Goslin tonight. Rosalind And maybe Gosling? even the other thing I thought of today, too, what? is... Uh, <laughs> Something alive, horses. All right, we start the chat. We started already. All right, we're Something on. alive. Something alive. And horses. Man, if you need a, th- if you need a person that just watches the show, it's like you need a, a Mad Lib <laughs> mod. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A Mad Lib mod. Mob. Mod. Mod. Any volunteers? Mod for the bod. Yeah. Ooh, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Why are you standing on our kitchen table? Verb, area? verb ending in ing is a is swimming. I'm standing on the kitchen table in Minecraft yeah. because is this not where the muffins are? Almost. How long did you write that? Almost where I I wrote that years ago. Oh gosh, that's funny. Almost where the muffins are. We don't have muffins very often. Swimming. All right, we'll get we'll get back to this in a moment. Let swimming. me uh, don't get me sidetracked. Just keep Roslyn swimming. Roslyn Goslin. Oh yeah, and I wanted swimming. to a uh, little Tony Bennett tonight. I thought maybe if you guys could throw me some 
non Tony Bennett songs. We'll make we'll make up a non Tony Bennett songs. We'll make up a uh, a fake <laughs> collection of songs by Tony Bennett. I want to make you some songs that are gonna be glorious because a fake collection a fake collection of Tony Bennett songs. This is interesting. Yeah, because you know <laughs> you know that I'm all good at singing songs and knowing the words. Right. Uh, welcome to the chat. If you're new to the chat, click the follow. We'd love to have you back. We'd love to have you know when we go live. So please do that. If you're not part of a streaming community, consider joining the community of Club Nub and the BS07 group. Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Moving vehicle. Oh, what's our vehicle? Scooter. <laughs> Scooter. Nice. Verb, where is it? Verb, verb, vehicle, scooter. Who doesn't look cool on a scooter? <laughs> I look cool. No, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, put your hands up. Club Nub, yeah, Club Nub in 07. So throw the Club Nub BS 07 uh, in the chat if you're a part of the Club Nub group. If you put Club in the chat, if you're part of the BS 07 group, put 07 in the chat. If you're part of both, put both. Uh, these are communities, so if you're looking to grow your tw- your Twitch stream, I recommend finding communities. I'm trying to hang out as best I can with Club Nub and BSO7, so I uh, put those in the headings of my chat. So if you go to the Club Nub website, you should see me on there live tonight. <laughs> as Nappy puts, neither. As his, uh, I should we should make a, a thing when you put neither in the chat. So is that a, is that a, is that part of the line there, Armo? Up in the club, just broke up. I'm doing my own little thing. You decided to dip, and now you want to trip. Cause another brother noticed me. I'm up on a hit. He up on me. Don't pay him any attention. I don't know what this is. Cause I cried my tears for three good years. You can't be mad at me. I don't think I plugged in my laptop. Uh oh. Hold on one second. Oh, you got no. It's what nuts. does that mean? Oh, it's That's, gonna it die. It just keeps going off. Yeah, one second. That is not good. Switch. All better. Switch. All right, I'm gonna morph back to the other place. Is that okay? Morph away. Okay. Morphity morph 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 morph. All right, we got a lot of stuff to go on tonight. Whoa, so flying. We'll get going here. I'll show you what I'm doing, and then we can get. Get rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Beyonce, single lady lyrics. That's Those are the lyrics of the song? See, Arma, I don't even know that. I look at those lyrics and I'm like, that fire is not a popping. Oh, that's not the fire behind me. I got to get the fire, the main fire in the house. Uh, it was low, so I had to get that a popping. Not this one. Not this one. This room would get so toasty. He'd be burning. Up in the club. See, the problem is, Armo, I don't know the, uh, I don't know how that song even goes. So singing it that is. That might be the beauty of this, actually. Up in the club, I just broke like up. This. I'm doing my own little thing. You decided to dip, and now you want to trip. Because another brother noticed me. I'm up on him. He up on me, don't pay him any attention. Wow. Because I cried my tears for three good years. You can't be mad at me. This is special. Let's start the show. Boom, boom. Welcome back to Couples Therapy. The kids are in their underwear (laughs) and apparently not sleeping. Because they came down to ask about nightlights. But they did a marvelous job cleaning the house today. Oh my gosh. Today is cleanup day, cleanup Friday day. That was cool. And they did a great job. <gasps> Couples Therapy Minecraft Edition. So they did a great job. Today's cleanup Friday at the house. We used to have some glorious ru- rules for cleanup Friday that some of you might not be aware of. Cleanup Friday at our house, at the Dynamite household, consisted of this. Because we homeschool, we can be a little more free in our Friday schedule. We did light classes on Friday. And then if they get two rooms downstairs cleaned up, just two rooms. And that, the cleanup is essential. Pick up all the stuff on the floor, dust, and vacuum the room. 
two rooms. And I, th- I think we asked them also just to straighten their bedrooms. Nothing crazy. Just kind of pick up the stuff. They could play video games and watch movies the rest of the day till dinner time. And in the last 10 years, they've done that twice. <laughs> Has it been that much? Maybe three times. That's grim. Grim, grim, grim. But today, there was no promise of anything, and they wanted to impress Mama. So they, they went to town. It was magic. Because if you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. Because if you liked it, then you should have put a so ring weird. on it. Don't be mad once you see that he want it. You liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. You know, you're doing a good job, Tony Benning, that song. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Tony Bennett. Of course I am. You have to let us know. Tony has to always say that every time he talks. I'm Tony Bennett. Happy birthday to you. Whose birthday is it, Tony? Doesn't matter. Happy birthday to you. Happy. Just let me find another song, he says. (laughs) Armo. Happy birthday, dear Armo. Take it away, Gaga. Happy birthday to you. All right, so what I'm doing today is I'm going to actually continue to work on Mama's open air garden. Open air garden. Her garden that's open in the air. But I need a little bit, a little bit of everything. If you like it, you better put a ring on it. I'm going to say this one more time, put a ring on it. Because if you like that, you better put a ring on it. Put your hands up, hands up. Put them up in the air like you just don't care. Wow. Yeah, it's a good song. It's getting weird. It's getting, it's getting good. Dude, that's weird. There's just too many places I've got to see. So what song is it? Can you tell me the name of the song, Nappy? It might help me get it into context. If I leave here tomorrow, would you still remember me? You know that song. I don't. Oh, come on. For I must. You're doing pretty good for not Be knowing traveling it. all now. Why is it every Cause day? there's too many places I've got to see. But if I stayed here with you, girl. Things just couldn't be the same Cause I'm as free as a bird now And this bird you cannot change And this bird you cannot change Lord knows I cannot change Free bird, everybody, Tony Bennett here Want to sing you some songs (laughs) Anybody else want to hear Tony Bennett sing? Throw a song lyric down in the chat it's a horrible impression. Anyways, that was my joke today at work. Tony Bennett. He has a collection of songs that aren't Tony Bennett songs. Oh, yeah. I got a new one for you that I wrote last night. It's on my new album. It's called Hello. It's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet to go over everything they say. That time's supposed to heal, but I ain't done much healing. And I don't even know that song either. All I know from that Adele song is she goes, hello. And then I immediately think, <laughs> is it me you're looking for? <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. She ripped off that Lionel Richie song. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's what happened. She ripped off that song. She stole the first line of that song. Lawsuit waiting to happen. Lionel Richie's put the paperwork in. <clears throat> yes, I'm indeed. I'm actually impressed that you knew. It was Lionel Richie. Who sings that I'm a, song? I'm a famous guy. You're a famous guy? Yeah, I know a lot of famous people. <laughs> You're a famous guy. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I love cherry pies. Lately, I've been thinking of switching to pecan pie. Yum. Yes, indeed. All right, what are we going to do here? We want to have like, um, 
Do I want to have a monstrosity here? I think I want a monstrosity here. Is that so. other stove going to need turned down? Or are we oh, good? at some point, yeah. At some point it will. At some point it will. Needing the turning down. Needing to be turned down. As you put it down, nobody goes. Everybody knows just what the world can know. In other words, please be true. Oh, that's really one of his songs. Is it? In other well, words, Sinatra. I'm sure he's I it too. mock you. I'm sure he's singing it. You, is it, you sure? Mm -hmm. You sure he sang they it? They all sang the same songs. They all did pretty much <laughs> sing the same songs. So if I want this to, it's been seen. We have met before. Oh no, the music went off upstairs. Laugh before. Oh yeah, look at this. Uh, the name like Diggy Rock. It's gotta be good. Armo, that's funny. Never thought of that. Les Cobblestone. Tony Bennett sings Ben Folds. Oh yeah, let's do that. I'll do that. <laughs> what is happening here? Something's going on. Not quite clear. I don't know what this is. Like a party starting tonight. Oh, what a feeling. We're dancing on the ceiling. What feeling we're dancing on the ceiling? I Speaking think it's of funnier Lionel. hearing you try to figure out what's going on. Yeah, like. maybe. Maybe that's the art. I Because I, I just want to sing it. I want to sing it with, uh, with the, the melody. The melody, yeah. Right. That is funny. She plays wipe out on the drums. The squirrels and those birds, they go to gather round and sing the guitars. Oh, I, I want to be Kate. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck was that? Oh, Phantom. Phantom. Oh, oh you jerk. Oh, we need to sleep, huh? Yeah, we're scumbag, you see. It's nighttime. Oh, it's dusk for me. Well, dusk. I mean, it is dusk, but wow, just barely. Where are you? I wonder if they're... Are they afraid of water? Are they Oh. Are they afraid of anything? Tell me when you're ready to sleep, because I am by a bed. I want to kill so I can get. I want to kill this sucker so I can get his membrane. And what do you do with it? I don't know. Minecraft people have to tell me. I don't have any near me yet. Are you purring? What exactly are you doing? What's the mating call? The phantom. Oh, of course. I should have guessed it. Or, or we're watching Mac and Me. What did they do in that movie? I don't even want to try to remember. <laughs> Has anyone seen Mac and Me? Oh, Mac and Me was horrible. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh he's coming down. He's coming down. He's coming down, ladies and gentlemen. He's coming for the battle. Oh, right in the face. Right in the face. Here's a coyote howling in the distance. <laughs> Dicky Rock said that that noise I was just doing created a coyote day. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. I just want to be your friend. Yeah. You, they kind of swoop down a little slow, don't they? Oh, oh. <laughs> You couldn't even get back at the sky. Inconceivable. Oh, man. Never go in against the dynamite when death is on the line. <laughs> killed him. I killed the membrane. Can we sleep now? Oh, sure. Okay. Great movie, Armo. I miss what he said. Mac and me? Mac and me? Is that what he seriously said? Oh, I don't know. Or Princess Bride. Oh, I don't know. There's no bed up. There's no bed up there. You got no bed. Where are you? No, I just got no bed up there. Nappy, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm losing track. You guys are chatting too fast for me. Let's see. Enemy mine. I don't know. It's here's a coyote howling. Enemy mine. Lewis got Gossett Jr. That's what that reminded me of. Great movie, Armo. Excellent movie, just Armo. I don't think I've seen Enemy Mime. I 
can you wear its head? Oh, um, Nappy, I, I don't know if that was a mod thing on the Club Nub server where you get to keep the head of the creature. I don't know if that's that's the case. Oh, that's cool. Yes, I don't know. So what I'm thinking here to you is I'm going to get rid of some... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on over there? Whoa, whoa. Uh, nothing. Everything's fine. It doesn't sound fine. It's fine, honey. Are we fighting again? Uh-oh. Here we go. Mama? Yeah. Are we fighting? Yeah. I thought we were promised not to fight each other anymore. Yeah. I thought you took a Spanish class. See? There we go. Even though I don't know Spanish. I thought... Why, why aren't you talking to me? I don't even know what to say to you. You're such a whiny little blob right now. Oh. 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 <laughs> I guess I don't know what to say to you. I See? guess that means we're just throwing the 13 years we've been married away. I'm sorry, I'm not into this one. I can't take you seriously. Why are you being so mean to me? I am mean. I want something better. Uh, a tissue? <laughs> oh, a life Nappy hates sand. It gets everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Even in your Phantoms toes. are bound to lose. All they can do is wing it. ba -da -ba -ba. Get that movie if you can. It's a good movie and family friendly, I believe. What movie is this? Uh, the Lewis the Enemy Mine. Enemy Mine. Enemy Mine. Enemy Mine. By huh. Oh, that was the thing I thought of today. Yeah. Enemy Mine, starring Claire Danes. We'll be back in a moment. We had an old stream where we uh. I built. I just built a stream on my Club Nub server, and I'm just getting so excited to build streams that I think I'm just gonna build the stream here. <laughs> I don't know. The garden? It's. It's. Don't worry about it. It'll be great. It'll <laughs> flow. It'll flow. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I know. Do I got buckets of water? I do have a bucket of water. Did I lose my other thing over here? Yes. 1985. Mama. Is the music still going? No, it's over. Okay, good. I don't like the way the sand feels on my feet. Oh my god. No, but we uh we had a, we had a, a stream a few weeks back where we tried to uh, come up with I don't know if y'all y'all remember watching a ton of TV in the the nineties, but I used to watch a lot of a lot of Saturday Saturday afternoon or evening movies and the stars they'd always go to commercial and be like. Iron Police, starring Steven Seagal, will be back in a moment. And then they have, then they'll cut back from commercial, and they'll be like, they'll say it again. We now return to Iron Police, starring Steven Seagal. And they go right back into the action. So I thought it was funny to come up with like random names of people that wouldn't normally be in crazy cool sounding movies, like Enemy Mine, starring Pee Wee Herman, <laughs> will return in a moment. <laughs> 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 Might be worth watching. Yeah, it's pretty good. On the good ship. Oh, nope. Lollipop. Tony Benedict. On that good ship. A lollipop. It's a bright ship. Gonna nice. make you stop. Where those bonbons play. I'm sitting down by Chesapeake Bay. Oh, boo doo doo bee doo <laughs> I like the boopy Yeah, the local stations do that still. Yeah, the local stations. So I think my, my movie my movie a few weeks back was called... I think it was called Iron Police. Iron Police, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme Sr. We'll be back in a moment. And it was just awesome. I just think it's the funniest thing ever. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do that. You didn't have to blow the, do the bloody door off. There we go. I wanted to have a little, like, water feature there. Yeah, water features are fun. Who doesn't like a good water feature? Gareth Harrison here. Welcome back, me. Huh? 
Could you imagine if he welcomed himself back to a show? Welcome back to my show, everybody. I'm Gareth Harrison. Before we get talking about movie reviews, got to talk a little bit briefly here about my ex-girlfriend. Lovely lady. Hate the Ben and Jerry's a little too much, though. Anyway, let's talk about movies. Movies like Iron Police. Could do something like this. Iron Police, starring that guy from that place. Iron Police, starring the voice of the Micro Machines. We'll be back in a moment. Are you gonna do it? No, I can't do that voice. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Please don't be like that. <laughs> no, please don't go. I just want you to know. I lost all my teeth in San Francisco. <laughs> what happened, Tony? Some dame <laughs> punched me in the face. It was a dame. And it was such a disgrace. She used an entire can of mace. <laughs> of course. What else uh, was I was wearing girly lace. Because I lost all my teeth in San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am Tony Bennett. Even if it's for one evening, I am Tony Bennett. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. There we go. We got this. We got the river. Oh, there we go. Where does this come out? Come out down here? Yeah. And this comes out right there. And then we can put that there. And then we can... Do something like that, maybe? Yeah, we'll, we'll change this around. Anyway, so we should probably get that dating tip in there. Oh. Good dating tip. Yeah, we're doing a show. So if you just join us, this is Couples Therapy. My name is Jackson Dynamite. With me, as always, is Mama Dynamite. We do a show every Fridays, like this one. Similar to this one. Not the exact same thing, though. In the, uh, the show, we talk about a dating tip. We talk about a marriage tip. And then we get into some uh, very interesting conversations about some stuff. <laughs> we're also doing a Mad Lib, a secret Mad Lib tonight. So I need some uh, adjectives, nouns, plural nouns. Verb ending in ing, food plural, adjectives, something alive. A few of those would be great. We'll read that probably after the break. Something alive. So today's dating tip. Make sure you are both mature enough for marriage. Science has proven that most brains don't reach full maturity till the age of 25. So they're telling you don't get married until you're 25? They're, they're essentially saying nah, that's not a general rule, but it's safe to say that if you're both like 18 years old, that the chances of that actually working aren't as great. It can work. So if you've been married since you were 18, bravo if you're still married. But they're saying that it's good to wait until there's some maturity in the relationship. <laughs> I think that's definitely a plus. And with guys, that's almost impossible. Almost impossible. Almost impossible. Uh, that's our dating tip. So if you're dating somebody and you're thinking of getting married, God, make sure that make sure the guys right, let's see, let's be honest. Let's make sure the guys mature, okay? Because that, there's probably not a lot of very mature men out there that are dating like super immature women. That's a weird combo. You're like hanging out with some girl and she's making she's making like armpit fart noises with just like <laughs> And you're like, "This isn't going to work, Claire." <laughs> you're so immature. And you go like this. Claire? Can I just be honest with you? Sure, hit it. When you make fart noises with your armpit, <laughs> it's so immature. <laughs> Claire? I'm speechless. Claire, I'm trying to break up with you. So, yeah, is it over? Yeah, well, unless you don't want it to be. Is I'm, that what I should tell my I'm, friends? I'm, I'm, oh! <laughs> Dicky Rock, thank you for the host. 
if it's not over, I'm just too weak to break up with you. But if you don't want to be with me, you know, I guess I'll settle. I don't like the way the sand feels. Claire? Committed to the segment. Claire? <laughs> yes? Maybe we should do it over. Oh, great. Yeah, let's <laughs> do let's it Let's try again. it again. <laughs> yeah, Nappy, couldn't have an intelligent conversation with her. So, Nappy, how was your day? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Claire? Yeah? <laughs> Can you uh, stop making uh, fart noises with your... Just for, just for a couple minutes, maybe? Uh, but it's so funny, Nappy! You're kind of immature. Claire. What? I just think that you're very immature. Are you breaking up with me? You're breaking up with me. <laughs> she might be the one that knows it won't work. She might be clairvoyant. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually like that one. That's a good one. That was clever. Claire? Claire? <laughs> Claire's not home right now. Leave a message after the beep. Beep! Hi, Claire. It's me. It's Ted. Are you clairvoyant? Claire? Oh, that's right. This is a machine. Sounds super bad. That's right. This is a machine. Oh my gosh. Claire? Oh, that's right. It's still a machine. <laughs> keep forgetting. Claire? Oh, I keep forgetting you're not really there. Okay. Call me never. Yeah, about that. About that. So we're making. So if you just join us, that's Jackson Dynamite, Mama Dynamite. I'm actually working on a little. Uh, I was gonna make a gazebo for Mama. We actually tried once and it failed big time. Well, the world glitched out. The gazebo was looking okay. Oh, that's right. But uh, we were making you a gazebo. But I'm gonna make her a um, just like a little outside place where she can have like a bunch of chests. Is that guy's name from that show you watch? Monty Don. Monty Don. We should get Monty Don. To make me a garden. To make you a Minecraft garden. That would be so would funny. Be he, would, he would so not appreciate that. No. No. But it would be great. He would not appreciate What was very interesting though. about Mama Dynamite's um, <laughs> Minecraft garden was that she, she, co she, co she cultivated the soil. Got a with, stutter there. With, with coarse dirt. I was trying to get into the voice. Yeah. With coarse dirt. And it just... She just... Well, let's check in on her and see how she's been for the last six months. And she, the, he gets here, and we're both just drunk, passed out on the couch. <laughs> I can't believe you left for six months. We're never going to get this thing done. <laughs> That's been terrible. Why'd you leave us? Oh, yeah. Good old Monty Don. Good old Monty. Beep. Calls back to continue conversation. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's more. No, he just thought, Nappy thought that'd be funny. That would be funny. Beep. Nice. <laughs> Claire, I stopped crying. Can I, will you pick up? <laughs> That's like what a five-year-old says. I, I, went, uh, I went upstairs and I stopped crying. Down. Will you pick up the phone? <laughs> oh, what happened to all my water? Oh, oh, I hear bad guys. Oh, yeah? I do. I hear them. What I, are they saying? They're saying... They sound angry. Blow up! Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. 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 Uh, are there just... Oh, it's gonna blow! It's gonna blow! <laughs> it's gonna blow, you see? Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, oh there we go. On top of this pillar, all covered. On top of this pillar, all covered with cheese. <laughs> I called Lady Gaga and asked her, please. 
Let's make another holiday album. Is he still alive? I think he is. And he is still hitting on Lady Gaga. I know I'm like 75 years older than you, Dame, but we make beautiful music together. He calls her Dame. In my world, he calls her Dame, okay? That's definitely a win. <laughs> oh, sorry, Nappy. I was so in the moment, I could not do the Creeper song. I do. I was. I was so into it. This. I think I'm wrecking my uh, redstone underneath all this. We will see, won't we? We will see. So how is everybody tonight? We having a good night? It's Friday. Most of you possibly don't have to work all Yay. the way through Christmas. That is so awesome if that's true. Nappy's sad I forgot the Creeper song. Oh, sorry, Nappy. I can't see what he's doing, so I can't help you. Yeah, she can't even remind me and be like, Dude! You forgot something, Jackson. You forgot something, dude! Yeah, sorry. Hey, dude. Yes? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You called me. Wait a minute. You can't be a dude. You can't be a dude. That's funny. Have to do a Minecraft song to the theme of Green Acres. <laughs> yeah, we could we could probably write something. We'll do it as Tony Bennett. Throw some lyrics down. <laughs> Minecraft is the place to be building shelters is best for me are you in your bed yes because i'm a scaredy cat and i've got to sleep the night away i don't know how the green acre song goes welcome welcome one and all for everybody who's here hello hello Is that I wanted to trade with. And that was Les, too. I think I saw Les Cobblestone join the channel a while back. Welcome, one and all. All right, folks. Let's take a moment since I just woke up. Nouns, plural nouns, adjectives. Plural nouns, adjectives, and maybe even a plural noun. A verb ending in I-N-G. You just woke up? Oh, Armo, doing good here. I'm glad, Armo. I woke up from the bed in Minecraft. Gotcha. Meh. Boom. Noun, table, gun, done. Table, done, noun, gun, done. Adverb, something alive, plural. Food, plural, adjective. I was a song of door and shimming a frame when I saw the time. Dropped everything to come here. Oh, Diggy Rock. <laughs> oh. What was he doing? He was installing a door and shimming a frame. Oh, unfortunate stuff. Diggy Rock. <laughs> you better answer. I'm, I'm not taking this one. Diggy Rock, I am not that important, <laughs> though. You should probably get that door fixed. <laughs> Thank you, though. Anyway, well, plural noun. Pants. Yes. Here. What'd you say? You got a crazy cave going on down here. Plural noun. Plural. Plural. Plural noun. Pants. Pants. Everybody needs their pants. Everybody needs. Everybody needs. Everybody needs their pants. Everybody needs. Everybody needs. Everybody needs. Everybody needs. Pants. Everybody needs. Everybody needs. We go three, two, one. Pants. Everybody get your pants on. Uh, plural noun, this pants. This is where it ended. Okay. This, this is, is where our show ended. Plural. What is it? You asked if you gave me a plural noun? I don't know if there's a plural. Uh, oh, no, I put pants down. Oh, no, a verb. Contemplate. Contemplate. Mm, good verb. That's a mighty good verb. But Stoic I don't verb. think I need a verb. 
I need an know. adverb. How about verb ending in ing? Didn't you have one of those? Oh, verb or ending in contemplating. 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 Uh, we're going to fill this whole thing in. Isn't the point? Plural pants. Except your awake kids, apparently. <laughs> pants. Everybody's got their pants. <laughs> Plural nouns. Who said that? Plural not nappy. Plural noun. I don't think I've got a plural noun so in here. So true. Our kids do not Skivvies. put their pants on. You know, something alive that's plural. Food that's plural. They don't need, apparently they don't need pants. Yeah, my my kids have a weird idea of what PJs are. <laughs> Diggy Rock, my toll starts from dropping everything. I'm sure you did. I'm sure it does. Yeah, they cover their Adverb. privates. That's Thank about you, it. Thank you, Armo. Jealousy. Ooh. What's that, Mama? I said they cover their privates. That's about it. When they go to bed. Oh, we had a we had a guy. I have a guy at work today telling me a story that his young son calls his privates his squishy. Oh no! <laughs> and, and, oh no! And I so don't want to know why. No, no. This <laughs> so adverb adverb greed. <laughs> squishy. Uh, yeah, and um. Aww. How old is this kid? We need adjectives, people. I mean, it's people. not cute if he's 10. Lots of adjectives, a few more nouns. I don't think I have another adverb here. Food, plural, part of the body, plural. Adjectives, food, plural. Something alive, plural. Food, plural. How, how old is oh, this Oh, uh, something alive, alligators. Well, I'm not sure. Huh. Something alive, alligators. Adverb, jealousy. I think we have no more adverbs. What do we still need? Uh, oh, no, I got jealousy. I got jealousy, alive, adverb, greed. No more adverbs. We need adjectives, nouns, adjectives, like five or six adjectives, three or four nouns, food plural a couple times, uh, food plural three times, like six adjectives, three food plurals, and a couple of nouns. He's like three or four, but he'll pull, he'll pull his pants down and say, look at my squishy. Do you want to see my squishy? So and I, as the father, I told this other guy, I'm like, actually, there's not ever a point in your entire existence as a boy, go, even as a man, even 20 years married, oh should gosh. you ever pull your pants down and say, touch my squishy or look at my squishy. It would never, ever come up. Oh it's something you should never say. That is so, so funny. Maybe the other dating tip. No, Venus donated 300 bits. Thank you so much. Nice. Thank Great you. Great timing, no, Venus. <laughs> So under no circumstances, as a young boy or a grown man, should you ever say, "Do you want to see my squishy?" Oh my gosh! It it, we, it should never come into. It should never be a sentence. Novena, thank so you so much. Funny. That's very very kind. Merry Christmas, Dynamite Family. Early. Yes. Thank Merry you. Thank Christmas. you. Thank you. Very That's fun. Right. It'll be we're playing. Christmas we're playing Christmas. Mad Libs. Novenas. We're playing Mad Libs. We're looking for about six adjectives, a bunch of nouns, and some food plural. Actually, are you streaming on food. Christmas? Cupcakes. Jackson? Uh, if the kids are sleeping, Christmas maybe. Christmas night? Cupcakes. I probably would if the kids are in bed and you are you got nothing else you want to do. It would never come up because it's squishy. Oh, Armo. Wow. Also, Novenas, we're doing Tony Bennett songs that would not be on his normal album. This is a special holiday you album. You had the squishy. Now you have the bits. Oh. Just gets better and better. Thank you. Uh, Nappy gifted a tear I sub to Novenas. Nappy, good for you, buddy. Good for you. Good for you doing nice that job, for her. Nappy. Hey, good for you doing that what for a her. Good boy. You're a good boy now. You go, you go to your room. You got to... <laughs> Adjective oh, witty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nappy, thank you so much for that. Look at that. So now, Novenas, you get to, yeah, she gets to use the dynamite emote in the chat. Oh, nice. Blow it up. <laughs> I wasn't oh, sure if you would, squishy. so I wanted to get you early. Thank you so much. I, I mean, I'm not sure if I was going to be on Christmas. In celebration of 100 followers for Jackson. Thanks, Nappy. Yay! Thank you. No more commercials. That's right. So any, so correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, Any time yeah. you sub, even if a gift sub or like a prime sub, you lose the commercials. Is that the fact? It goes right to the show. Nappy would know this. You guys that probably all know super this. Cool. I don't know a lot about. Ooh, Armo, you are killing it, Armo. Adjective muscular. Muscular. I like what he's got Mus going here. Muscular. 
If only you guys can see his spelling. I'm sure looking at this. Yeah, they have spelling <laughs> in the chat. Oh, okay. Do you use the emotes anyway? How do you use the emotes? Oh, if you've uh, you just go into the right hand side bottom of the chat, uh, and there's like a the little happy face that you'd put like an emote in an instant message. Yeah, you click it. Yours. Adjectives for Christmas. Itchy. Yeah. So it looks like we've got two, three, three more adjectives. Uh, plural food, noun, plural food, a couple of plural foods, a noun, and a couple more adjectives. Plural foods. I will let you fill the chat with some of those, and I will I'll work on Mama Dynamite's outside garden, living space garden thing. Life, should we check on the fire? Do you want me to go check on that? Yeah, yeah do you want, I can, you, want, you gonna go or you want I me to go? go yeah. Just want to make sure we don't have the house flambe. Yeah, we got this fireplace. It goes crazy if you leave it alone, if you forget. It goes from zero to 600 like this. It goes like, boom, <laughs> zero to 600. <laughs> you get back, we'll talk about uh, Roslyn Goslin. What is this that you're... I don't even know what you're talking about. Exactly. Uh, okay. uh, I'm in a cave. Should I just... Um, Roslyn Goslin. Should I just block myself off? Oh, there we go. Novena's getting some sleepy, grumpy. I'm very slow, Novena's. Tell me what part of speech those are. Adjectives? Yeah. Thank you. Diggy Rock. Yeah, Diggy Rock using the emote. Good job. Thank you so much for taking... And then Armo's going... Armo's using the dynamite emote and going pew pew. Nice. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. All right. Tell you something goes after that. And then something goes after that. And then something. That's uh, almost a little too much. It's almost like a little... Uh, almost like a little too much. I almost think like this needs to... You know what? Maybe we'll do something a little different. Maybe we will just... Was the fire roaring? It's a 525. Yikes. It's toasty in that room. Toasty. Toasty. Something like that, like something a little bit simpler that's not crazy. Maybe. And we can maybe. Now, okay, can you be the more specific in what you want me to do with my life? Talking to God. <coughs> nice, you got. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Coming this fall to the Arena Center, Tony Bennett with his new album. Actually, we should do the, the, the intro song. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the New York City Concert Hall of Concerts. One of the best concerts, one of the best people you've ever met, Tony Bennett. Hey, everybody, my name is Tony Bennett. I can't wait to have you by my concert venue, whatever the heck that name of that venue place is. Shut the music off. Take me down to Paradise City, <laughs> where the grass is green and those gagas are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Just are you making up words in here? Just an urchin living under the street. I'm hard case. It's tough to beat. I'm your charity case. So buy me something to eat. And I'll pay you at another time to take it to the end of the line. Gaga. <laughs> He's got to end it all with Gaga. Gaga. Yeah, that's Tony Bennett, everybody. Love it. Tony Bennett performing live at the Providence Civic Center. Now it's called the Dunkin' Donuts Center. Yeah, we hate that. Do you guys like that when the companies come in and they buy the rights to a stadium? I used to love the fact that 
in, uh, grew up near Providence, Rhode Island. They used to have a Providence Civic Center. It sounded so much cooler. It was a, the center of Civic where th stuff happened. And then Dunkin' Donuts bought the rights, and now it's called the Dunkin' Donuts Center. No offense, Dunkin' Donuts sent me free coffee. I'm just saying, Providence Civic Center sounded so much cooler. Lame. Yes, it does. The Boston Garden. There you go, Novenas. You get it. The Boston Garden. Guys, Boston Garden. Yeah, the Boston Garden. Now, is that still called? Now it's called the TD Bank North Center. Is it really called? The... Oh. Nappy said, we had a War Memorial Auditorium, or it was called the Odd. I remember, oh, right. the, I know I they, hearing about for that. the Sabres. Right, now it's called, selling seats or something. now the Sabres call it the Key Bank Center. It's just no fun. It has no Shazam. I think they should keep the classic name, but maybe put like sponsored by or something. So you could have had like the Boston Garden sponsored by Bank North Center or like the Providence Civic Center brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. At least it's a little classier. Oh, yeah. Don't like it. Don't like it. Well, I'm bad. I don't like it. But you know what I do like? Oh, gosh. What? A tan? Oh, no. I was oh, going to say. I thought you were going for a tan. Oh, no. So today today at the store, place I work. You work at the store? I work at a store. We were going to, uh, where's this thing? I was trying to say Ra, uh, Ryan Gosling. And I said <laughs> Rosalind Goslin. <laughs> And someone was like, corrected me, and they're like, who's Rosalind Goslin? And I said, oh, it's Ryan's cousin. So I went, my name's Rosalind Goslin, and uh, I'm the cousin of Ryan Goslin, and he's uh, handsome, and if we weren't cousins, we'd date. <laughs> anyway, because he thinks I'm great. Wow. But that's the way it is. And you know what she does? Movie reviews. Of course. <laughs> Every character I come up with and create does movie reviews. Hello, my name is Check Off. This is Check Off's checklist. I review movies. They are top notch. Forgot about Check Off. Yeah, Check Off. He do, does movie reviews. Of course. I have a simple list of 27 checks every movie can get. So if your movie is top notch, it gets 27 checks from Check Off's checklist. Let us start with the Angelie Jolie Bradley Pitt movie called uh, Mr. or Mrs. Smith. This movie had lots of action. Guns go bang, bang, pew, pew. I gave it 14 checks on my checklist. So, not bad. Pew, Let, pew. Pew, pew. Les Cobblestone says, luckily, it's changed since then. And then we had a Sky Dome here in Toronto. Now it's the Rogers Center. I still call it the Sky Dome. You go, Diggy Rock. That's a bad one, Les Cobblestone. I was there this year to see the Foo Fighters this year, Diggy Rock. Oh, yeah, Nappy. Nappy loves his concerts. What do we got? We're almost time for a little, like a little short break for stretching. Adjective, noun, food, All plural. Right. Mama, do you have one? Food, plural. I get to be a part of this? Yeah. You've never asked me before. Oh, I'm sorry. What I'm so food, insensitive. Plural? plural food. Do both of my plural foods. Pumpkin seeds. Pum. Pum. In seeds. What's the other one? Calamari. Calamari. All right, and now we have only left a noun and an adjective, people. And thank you, everybody, for hanging out in the chat. If you're new to the channel, please click the follow button. My, uh, my weather girl, Wendy, will be able to uh, tell me that you're following me. She's very sweet. She won't bite. And then you'll know when we go live, we only do a show on Fridays, and I do a show on Tuesdays. So we, uh, we give you back more time to watch your other favorite streamers, because we're nice and sensitive. We're so... <laughs> Mama? Oh, gosh. Yes. Tubular. Tubular. Is that an adjective or a noun? I should really make you figure this out. I now. never okay. learned to read, Mama. Tubular, I guess, would be an adjective. Claire? What do you want? Will you stop calling me? Uh, I still have that pager you gave me. Yeah. And you never answer it. Yeah. I don't think it's a pager. No one has a 
his pager anymore. Why did you give me a pager? I thought it was weird. Hard. There were Tic Tacs in there. And it tasted like orange. I tasted your pager. There in there too? Yeah, guys, good tip here for life advice. Don't taste another girl's pager. There is a crazy little baby zombie here. Uh, death to the zombies. Anyway, we need a noun. He's and then after we get back from break, we will read this. New song for Tony, Armo. Oh, yeah. Oh, Armo? I think you... <laughs> Armo, oh wait, you are so funny. This is so funny. So actually, no lie, just today, Armo, uh, for like years, I've wanted to actually make redo the Transformers theme song, and I wanted to add. Let's see if I can do this. I should probably get in the house. What so did I'm gonna you die. say that made you do he, Transformers? He said, "Sing that as a Tony Bennett song." Oh, that's awesome. Uh, oh man. How did you know? How did you know? All right, let's do this. Let me see if I can do this. That is crazy. So I emailed my, so I changed some of the lyrics today, and I made myself my extra lyrics. I thought, so what I wanted to do is, I, here it is. I wanted to make it so <laughs> when it gets to the end of the song, instead of just saying, I'll, I'll just sing it. All right, I'll see if I can. But I got to do this Tony Bennett. <clears throat> so I, I guess I don't remember the beginning of this song. Something's something evil's watching over you, coming from the sky above, and there's nothing you can do. Prepare to strike. There'll be no place to run when you're caught within the grip of the evil Unicron. Transformers, <laughs> more than meets the eyes. Transformers, Gaga, robots in disguise. I'm Tony Bennett. <laughs> Strong enough to break the bravest heart. So we have to, I don't know that part of the song, but anyways, it goes on. Transformers, more than meets the eye. Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers, Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil robots that want to kill all the people and rule the earth. Show after show and eat organic Lounge in a pool, go sun tanning with the evil forces of the Decepticons. Transformers. <laughs> oh, man. That's my song. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Armo, that's just for you. I, I, no joke, today, I wrote that today. And I wanted to get the actual, um, I want it to be fun to have a band that can cover that song. But I want I want it to be like he said it's so funny. I want it to be like a, a one minute run on sentence. Like I want it to be Transformers. Then it goes And then you get to the very, very end where like the person that's singing goes <gasps> And the Decepticons That's what I want. I just need a really good rock band. Oh. Can you sleep, Claire? <laughs> Here, and there's two guys. Yeah, sure, I'm on a bed. Gaga, we're not worthy. Diggy Rock, I don't know what you mean by that. We're not worthy of my great transforming Transformers singing song. He did. He told me he was going to do it. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you I was going to do Transformers tonight, Nappy? Oh, yeah. Are you sleeping? Uh, I can be. Oh, I thought you said get in the bed. Get in the bed. Get in the bed. Beds, Beds dynamites. Beds. Hi, my name is Roslyn Goslin. I'm the cousin of Ryan Goslin. He's a hunk catastrophe. And if he wasn't my cousin, <laughs> we date. These guys are in my way. That's all I she says. There we go. Oh, all you right. told me you were working on the lyrics. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was working on the lyrics today. I just need. Uh, I'm a very good. I'm a very good creator of uh, ideas. Ooh. I'm an idea oh, man. My goodness. I just need help. Pe I need help no. uh, seeing the ideas to fruition. So right now, for that idea, I would need a very good rock band. And then we'd sit down in one evening drinking beer, and we'd write that whole song, and we'd hash it out. Speaking of hash, Claire. Are you hungry again? I'm hungry, Claire. <laughs> Do we need one more? Oh, no, we need sorry. one noun. We need a noun. Apparently, I'm part psycho. That's how I knew. Oh, really? really? You're, you're part psycho, isn't it? Psychic. <laughs> 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 
Psycho is a different thing. We uh, although uh, my teammate at work today, we were joking about that song. I really must say, baby, it's cold outside. Don't go away. Right. But then we were joking about how it'd be funny if both parties of that song were trying to slip each other roofies. Oh gosh. <laughs> so by by like halfway through the song, you hear, and they both fall down, and they both. You know, it's better to say. So yeah, then really you wins. put something in my drink. It's all my gl- That's funny. Had the feet of dogs. Diggy Rock is feeding dogs. <laughs> Apparently, I'm part psycho. Yeah, like if you meet a girl. So here's a tip, Armo. What's in my drink? Nappy says. If you meet a girl and you say, I'm psycho. <laughs> she's going to leave you very but if you meet a girl and say I'm psychic there could be a conversation like oh there really could be some intrigue there what do you do you have tarot cards like what do you do oh I'm psychic I yeah. but if you say hey hey babe hey babe hey Claire <laughs> Claire oh what Claire I'm psycho yeah you are Come Claire <laughs> I'm psycho Claire Why does the sand feel so yucky on my feet? Give me a noun. Oh, is that the noun you wanted? Or is Gaga the noun? Is Gaga is Gaga a noun? Well, if someone goes Gaga. Um. <laughs> I'm going to put it. Because I read the sentence before, and it's good. Oh, okay. I cheated. I cheated. I cheated a little, little bit. All right. So here's what we're going to do. You can all hang out. I don't know what I played you last week for commercials, by the way. Oh, you know what? I don't think some of you probably haven't heard the commercial for Holy Beer. Have you heard Holy Beer? That's a good commercial. You guys want some Holy Beer? I'm a psychic psycho, and I knew how I was going to kill her before I did it. Ooh. What? Uh, Who's the weirdo? Uh, <laughs> you want to hear a commercial for Holy Beer? Beer that is holy. It doesn't get much better than this, folks. I end up doing the whole commercial without even playing it. Nope, let's hear it. No, Venus wants to hear a commercial for Holy Beer. <laughs> get your rosaries out, and here's a commercial for a Holy Beer. All right, I got to do this. Da, da, da. I'm Luckily, I'm safe in my house. That is a good thing. I'm safe in my house. Shoot. And I will be back. We'll be back in a moment. I'm going to mute everything. You'll hear a commercial. And I'm going to use the, the the small men's room. No comments. No comments. I did Be right thought. back. <laughs> hey, kids. Yeah. No, not you. The yeah. other kids. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Put down that video controller. Never. And, no, seriously. Okay. And pick up some... Popsicle sticks, they're crazy. Popsicle sticks, they're crazy. Popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks. <laughs> I feel like I'm tap dancing with popsicle, popsicle sticks. sticks. Who hey. pays for these things? <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor, Ovaltine. Hey, look, it's the Ovaltine guy. Yay! Hi, kids. Are your parents around? Hey, you're creeping us out, Ovaltine guy. Take that. Wait a second. Is that C4, the explosive? Yep. See ya. Hey, he's still moving. Hit him with that. Oh, gross. The rich chocolate taste of Ovaltine. It comes in a variety of flavors, like chocolate, and, uh, hmm. Gah. Yeah. Yeah. There's chocolate. And. Oh. Ovaltine. Try some today. Greetings. Are you tired of old, groggy, stifled, mild, tasteless, bitterless beer? Tired of getting to the bottom of that bottle, only to be left feeling, well, frankly, empty, and a bit empty some more. 
Stop the drinking and listen from a revolutionary new company working side by side with two selected unofficial Vatican officials comes Holy Beer. Beer that is holy. It doesn't get much better than that, folks. How much would you pay for such a magnificent beverage? $1,035? No. $1,000? No. $972? Uh-uh. $801? No way. $752? Nope. $700? Uh-uh. $600? Mm-mm. $500? No. $438? No. $398? No. $377? No way. $245? Nope. $213? Uh-uh. $207? No way. $157? Uh-uh. $150? No. $108? Mm-mm. $87? No. $64? Is that okay? No, for crying out loud. Holy beer could be yours for the great low price and 72 easy installments of $30. Just $30. Call 555-HOLY-BEER. I want it now. That's 555-HOLY-BEER. I want it now. Buy popsicle sticks. Parents, your kids will love them. Dear, I brought home... A thousand popsicle sticks for Junior. Oh my gosh, Johnny is gonna love them. He sure will. That guy on the radio said so. I guess so. So we'll see. I like them too. (laughs) Me too, honey. Let's build something together. Okay, like our marriage. Oh, high five. (laughs) (laughs) That's a commercial break. We're back. Sorry. The be- <laughs> the best part about that last commercial is my buddy and I were doing that, and uh, what they hear? I don't even. They know. heard uh. They heard. They hear. They heard. They heard the song. What does he say at the end of that? I don't know. What, what, she, he goes that? uh. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, Johnny has got to love them. Oh, I, and then my buddy goes, else? "He sure will." Yep, the guy on the radio said so. Yep. <laughs> It's uh the other guy's voice that cracks me up every time. Gotcha. Every time. Oh, 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 where did you, go? you guys like that? You like holy beer? Would you do those installments to buy holy beer? Oh my gosh, he's got me on fire. Okay. Mama, mama, mama's on fire. <laughs> Put your pants on. Oh my gosh, and he followed me into Put the your water. Pants what a on. booger. Welcome back. Welcome back. My good friend, oh, Mr. Carter. Oh, zombies are unbelievable. All right, so so let's read the Mad Lib, shall we? Oh, yes. The Mad Lib topic is bears. Bears, bears, bears. bears. Oh, I have a song about bears. Armo, you might like this one. If you like my Transformers song, you'd you'd love my bear song. So I have this song about bears. I'm imagining a park ranger. It's a sketch, really. There's a park ranger, and he has these three bears... And then he goes and visits them in the in the in the park because that's what he does. He's a park ranger, right? And uh, he goes up to them in the and the park ranger asks the three bears like, "Hey, we need a promotional thing for the park." And then they they he says, "All right, come back." So the the park ranger goes back to them and he says, "Have you guys worked on your promotional thing?" And then the bears are like, "Oh, I got this great, this really great promotional thing we can do for you. It's like a song and dance, ranger." And the park ranger is like, "Sure, yeah, go for it." And he goes, "All right." And all the bears line up. The three bears line up together, and they they do like jazz hands and everything, and they They're go like Muppet bears. Yeah, it's like a, a fuzzy like life size Muppet bears. Okay. Thank you for the the novenas. The commercials were great. She said. <laughs> and then he goes, "Here we go. This is the this is like your your park commercial." And he goes, "Bears, bears, bears. We live in caves, caves, caves. We eat fruits and berries and kids when they wander in. Yeah!" And all the bears start high fiving, and the park ranger goes, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa." What do you What do you eat? We eat fruits and berries. Yeah, yeah. What was that third thing you eat? Oh, the kids when they wander into our cave. You know, you can't you can't say you can't say that you eat kids. That no one's gonna come to our. Oh, okay. We had a second verse. All right, what's the second verse? All right, 
Yeah, get in line, boys. Bears, 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 we live in caves, caves, caves. We eat fruits and berries and one time an orphanage. Yeah! An orphanage, yeah. W- what was that last thing? Fruits and berries. No, yeah, I know the first three. What was the last thing? An orphanage. You guys ate an orphan? Well, it was going, the building was going down. The kids had no place to go anyway. You ate all the kids in the orphanage? Yeah, they had no parents. Do you have a third? Oh, yeah, of course we got a third verse. <laughs> of course there's a third. Bears, 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 we live in caves, caves, caves. We eat fruits and berries. And one time that plane that crashed nearby and we killed it. We had all the people on board, including the pilot. Yeah! Jazz hands. Jazz hands. I know, everything's gold except for the third verse. I'll work on it. But anyways, here it is. Bears. <laughs> I'm buying the kids popsicle sticks for Christmas. Are you saying that because of my commercial now? I sold you. Uh-uh. On on dynamite branded popsicle sticks, no or way. are you literally buying them popsicle sticks for Christmas? <laughs> okay, here it is, bears. If you go to some witty place like Yellowstone National Table, you might you might know. I, I should have made this a bigger. Fun. You must know how to deal with the wild animals such as bears and wolves and pants. The most important of these is the bear. There are three kinds of bears. The grizzly bear, the sleepy bear, and the grumpy bear. (laughs) Oh, man. Bears spend most of their time contemplating or swimming. They look very itchy, but if you make them tubular, they might bite your gaga. Bears will come up to your car and beg for pumpkin seeds. They will stand on their hind legs. Oh, we forgot a body part. Give me a body part. Uh, They will stand on their hind legs and clap their pinky fingers. (laughs) I'm going to write that in. All right, pinky fingers. I I, I, I peruse this thing thinking I'm done. Every week I do this. I'll go back. If you just joined, we're doing a Mad Lib if you just joined. I'll go back one sentence. They look very itchy. But if you make them tubular, they bite. They might bite your gaga. That's Mama's favorite line. Bears will come up to your car and beg for pumpkin seeds. They will stand on their hind legs and clap their pinky fingers together and pretend to be muscular. <laughs> uh, but do not get out of your scooter or offer, oh, or the, offer the bears cupcakes or calamari. The same advice applies to other wild creatures like horses or and alligators. Remember all these rules. Remember all these rules, and you'll spend your vacation vacation jealously and not get eaten by a table. Wow. Favorite line. I don't it was if, if any of you in the chat right now were not here last Saturday when we streamed, we did a pirate one and I kept it. So if you want to hear the pirate one again, I can reread the pirate one. The pirate Mad Lib. Mama's favorite line, they they look very itchy, but if you make them tubular, they might bite your gaga. <laughs> they might bite your gaga. So strange. Don't let them bite your gaga. It's nighttime. Yes, I know. Did you want to do something about it? The sun has set. We've read a Mad Lib. We've talked about a dating tip. I've talked about Rosalind Goslin. I've sung a song about bears. And we've been singing songs like Tony Bennett all night. Haji Maji Gaga. Couples Therapy Minecraft Edition. <laughs> you love how I always throw it in at the end? I like that, yeah. yeah. It's a nice touch. Just in case people don't know. I think even when I'm on my deathbed, and Mama Dynamite knows it's like my last breath. I'm just going to go, couple therapy my cross session. <laughs> and she's going to go, what a jerk. I wouldn't put it past you. I didn't say Gaga for the Mad Lib. I said it because you were singing Tony Bennett, and it was funny, but man, that was awesome. Yeah, no, I, I uh, saw it in the chat, and then I said to Mama, I said, is that a noun? Well, I go, I'm going to put it as a noun. She goes, I'm going to make you figure it out, Jackson, because you're not very bright. 
That's what Mamas tells me all the time. Oh, no. She doesn't say that. Mama's dad. <laughs> I mean, I know that. I know that. So our competition tonight, we have, we're not quite there, but we were thinking about a competition. I think our competition tonight is going to be a mining yeah. competition. We're not going to do a, a competition that has to do with miners because that's just a recipe for disaster. Awkward. Yeah, really awkward. You need to go into a town in Minecraft and find some miners. Awkward. <laughs> Talk about your squishy. Awkward. Oh man, what's I, I think I want to do? What's the um, Clone Wars? Oh dear. Uh, movie lines plus sand. <laughs> there's the actual. There's the actual. I don't like sand. Oh man, I want the whole. This is it. Is this the whole line? You got it. Yeah, so, but the thing about this line, okay, I'm, okay, just for the record, I'm talking about Attack of the Clones again and how stupid it was. It's, uh, yeah. it's the fact that she, I think right before he says this, she says how much she likes being home and she remembers being at the beach fondly. And then he says, I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. <laughs> I want to be a Jedi. <laughs> oh wait, no. He, this person has the whole thing. <laughs> I should give you the Padme lines. Oh, uh, feed it to me next time. Oh man, no. I'll just I'll say it as a go. Right? We used to come here for school retreat. We would swim to that island every day. I love the water. We used to lie out on the sand and let the sun dry us. And Trying to guess the names of the birds singing. I don't like the sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. <laughs> that's the, that's the whole thing. Okay, good. Oh, man. Okay. She's basically reminiscing. And then he's like, everything you just said, I don't like it. I hate it. And this, actually, this article on Reddit is saying, is it bad writing, you say? Well, no, I don't think so. Remember that Anakin is 19 years old. Most 19-year-old guys don't know how to talk to girls at this age. Wow, this guy is defending him. Wow. It's not really fair for anyone to accept Anakin to be a smooth talker like Han Solo. What? His age isn't even the biggest crux, though. Anakin, Anakin was a slave as a child and joined the Order that had a strict code that forbade romantic relationships. This guy's stretching. I know, in all fairness, I'm thinking about this now. Anakin did grow up on a desert planet. Yeah, but there were girls there. No, but the re he's, his line is, I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. It gets everywhere. Oh, I get his right entire here. childhood was on a planet of sand. That makes sense. But he obviously is not listening to Padme. He's listening to this girl he wants to be married to. Right. Explaining to him, she's excited, she's excited and about, about, and then he's just like, "Everything you're saying, Padme, is what I hate." But I love you. But I love Let's you. Nappy, I talked to him recently. Had a really great idea, which was he he thought it'd be really awesome. The Venus loves the Clone Wars. Uh oh, <laughs> sorry. Easy does oh it. Oh my Jackson. gosh! Oh Easy my god! Um, you did diggy rock what? He needs couples therapy. Who needs couples therapy? Oh, <laughs> Anakin. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Diggy Rock missed the Mad Lib. I'll read it again in oh, a second. Gosh, yeah, I'll read it again. Are you near a bed? Songs for Creepers. Bib. Uh, I can be in a bed. What was I, What were we talking about? <laughs> this whole episode is me sleeping in a bed. Well, are you done? So lazy. No, no. Yeah, Anakin needs... No, but Nappy's thought was that wouldn't it be cool... If somewhere in the prequels, they you found out, even just like right at the end, like in the end of Revenge of the Sith, you found out that Anakin was using the Force to make her love him because he was so infatuated with him, he couldn't stand to not have her actually love him, that he was using Sith powers to just make her love him. And then after she gave birth and he was distracted, killing all the kids, spoiler, mm -hmm. she gave she comes to and realizes that like – she doesn't 
she doesn't know where what she. What have her, I done? What have I done? Oh, Annie. Yeah, she's uh, not the most. I thought it was a good idea, Nappy. Good judge of character. No, she's horrible at judging character. That dude, Who's that hurting me? they got married. Let's say that she didn't die and they got married. He could come home any hour of the night and be like, "I went to the bar and got married to another girl." We had another set of Jedi twins. And she'd go, oh, Annie. It's not you, Annie. It's Obi-Wan. All right. Novena, why is a sad face? You're putting the sad face down. Maybe because she loves the movie. She probably loves the movie so much. She's like, I'm taking back my bits and I'm taking back... (laughs) <laughs> I got out of your channel because you ain't the talk about the clones. Maybe she likes sending her feet. Send in the clones. Send in the clones. Roger, Roger. All right, for anybody who missed the ad lib. Here you go. This is for... um. With a name like Diggy Rock, it's got to be good. Yeah, we're gonna do a rerun. <laughs> at least, at least. You, oh, see now, Navinas, you're giving me LOLs. I love that. When someone gives, see, emoticon sad faces. That's pretty serious stuff. You have to commit to putting the sad face in the emoticon. So either you're really sad, or it's sorry, it's or if it's like a, it's so hard to judge. Even and then the uh, emoticon ninja. I don't understand what that means. That's hard to judge too. When people put the ninja, because then I'm saying. What are you saying to me? I used an emoticon today at work. It was me running away. It was just me running because my teammate said something in the in link uh, in the chat thing, and I was oh, like, "She's." But she said, "What did she say? She was somebody." She said, "She oh, she said I am Seth MacFarlane," and I was like, uh, "I gotta go," and I had the running away one. All right, here it is. This so the Mad Lib Diggy was about bears, and you missed my bear song too. You'll have to watch the vod for that one. I sang you a song about bears. So this Mad Lib is about bears. We'll read it again. If you go to some witty place like Yellowstone National Table, you must know how to deal with the wild animals such as bears and wolves and pants. The most important of these is the bear. There are three kinds of bears, the grizzly bear, the sleepy bear, and the grumpy bear. Bears spend most of their time contemplating or swimming. They look very itchy, but if you make them tubular... They might bite your gaga. Bears will come up to your car and beg for pumpkin seeds. They will stand on their hind legs and clap their pinky fingers together to pretend (laughs) to be muscular. But do not get out of your scooter or offer the bears cupcakes or calamari. The same advice applies to other wild creatures such as horses and alligators. Remember all these rules and you will spend your vacation jealously and not get eaten by a table. Well, calamari might be my favorite too. It's a good line. It's pretty funny. I like that line. That's a good line. And and then I don't think Novena's. I don't know if there's anybody else in the channel that, that was not here Saturday, but this was the pirate one we read. Novena's, how do you talk like a pirate? I'm about to tell you, but I need more rum. I need more rum. If I want to talk like a pirate, I need as much rum as I can get in my gullet. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. You know what's fun, too, is I love seeing all the same familiar faces come back. It's just so much fun. Arr, she says. Arr. Nice. It's so cool seeing people's names pop up in the chat. And if you if you happen to come to the channel and you don't talk in the chat, that's awesome as well. But don't be shy if you want to just say, hey, I'm here, but I'm in the background. Or I have you on the background. There's a lot of times I go to other people's channels I'm trying to support just to get them the view. And I'll get there. I'll say like one pleasantry. And I'll just say, hey, I'm on I'm on Married Life with Kids. Uh, I'll be in the background. But uh, I hope you have a great stream. And if I have a moment to come back, you know. But if not, they knew they know I'm there. Um, it's The problem is when they have a long conversation with me and realize I haven't been there for half an hour. Uh, Diggy Rock said that thanks for reading it again. He couldn't bear it if he missed it. Right. Oh, 
diggy. Okay, here it is. Talk like a pirate. You can always pretend to be a bloodthirsty TV, threatening everyone by waving your frazzled sword in the air. But until you learn to tucker like a pirate, you'll never be unbashedly accepted as an authentic potato. So here's what he do. Cleverly work into your daily conversations, tuckered. Pirate phrases such as, Ahoy there, wives! Avast, ye beds! And shiver me species! Remember to drop all your geese and you say words such as sailing, spitting, and fighting. This will give you a big toe start in being recognized as a swashbuckling streamer. Once you have the lingo down pat, it helps to wear a three-cornered chair on your head, stash a camera in your pants, and keep a stone perched atop your lips. I know, he be a real pirate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You love me. You really love me. Oh, man. I think, Mama, you've done something different with the coffee. All right, so we've got the little bridge bringing us over to that bridge, and now we've got some gravel. I think I just want to make... Okay, so what we did, we did, um, I think you'd be a real potato, I mean pirate. I think we should do the marriage tip. It's getting to be that magical time. Marriage tip, tip. Marriage tip of the day. Thank you, Nappy. Notice the small things your spouse does. Express gratitude frequently and freely. It greases the wheels of the family. It greases them? Now, but this is true, though. Like, if you are, even if you're in a very committed relationship, right, or a marriage, noticing all the small things that your spouse does every day, I just, I can speak from experience. As a guy, I need that, like, good job waking up on time. <laughs> Club Nub. Going to work today. Club Nub just hosted the streamer for, thank you so much, Club Nub. Appreciate it. Blue crabs, nothing but blue crabs in my life. What would you say, Mama Dynamite? Says loving it. Before that? Oh, yeah. Good job going to work today, honey. Yeah, she does this stuff where she's like, you woke up on time. She'll, like, call me when I get to work. You woke up on time today. I'm so proud of you. Or thanks for letting the ducks and, and chickens thanks out for their Thanks for actually doing your function as a I man of the house. I did do it. <laughs> thanks for coming down and giving us heat. Oh, you're so kind and thoughtful. We put wood in the stove. You put oh, some wood in the stove. You love me. You love me. You really love me. Yeah, it's that easy. It's that easy. But we shouldn't forget it. So no matter if you're in a committed long-term relationship or if you are married, don't forget those little pleasantries, the little things of gratitude every day will go a long, long way in your married life. Long way. Long way. The neon lights are bright on the long way. On the long way. way. So, yeah, the Club Nub. Club Nub's in the chat, right? Club Nub's here. Club Nub. Looking around. Club Nub. Looking around the audience. I'm, I'm scanning the audience. Well, thank you for hosting. So, if you're in the chat... Wait, does she use her voice you love while saying that? <laughs> yeah, hey. Uh, hey, Jackson, thanks for putting the log in the fireplace for us. <laughs> More. <laughs> More. Oh, he's using his signs. I'm oh. using my signs, Mommy. So mommy, I want my mommy's signs. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anybody just join the chat. If you throw, like, uh, popular songs out there that I might know or some lyrics to songs, I'm trying to... We're trying to come up with a Tony Bennett album 
of songs you wouldn't normally sing. And I'll try to sing them like Tony Bennett for you. So I'll throw some songs out there, just for fun. And, uh, oh, my baby signs like that, too. Your baby signs like, like an ape like me. <laughs> Your baby probably signs so much cuter than, than me. Who's baby? Novena's. Cute. And, yeah, so it also mentions the Club Nub and the 07, the BS07. If you need a community online to help grow your stream, find a group. If you want help finding a group, BS07 or Club Nub might be a place to start. These are people that will hang out with you. I, I recommend finding maybe 10, 15 of these streamers that you actually enjoy what they're doing and make that your base. So when you're on Twitch, those are the people you go to. Those are the shows you watch. It's all about the base. About the base. <laughs> I couldn't help it. You yeah. said base. Yeah, you, I thought you were going to keep going. No, I, I'll spare everybody. There it is. Is that actually, that emote novena, is, is that actually one of your kids? Because <laughs> that would be adorable. It's adorable. As me and uh, Mary from college would say, it's adorable. It's adorable. Actually, I think it was Mike. I think it was her, her uh, husband to be that you, him and I used to say that. Oh, that's so adorable. All right, so what we're doing here... It's starting to get dark. It's starting to get a little dark. Oh, stop, stop, I'm home. All right, so you got, the, you got the dating tip, you got the marriage tip. We talked about some other fun, silly stuff today. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This is kind of weird, having this enormous rock, like, stone wall with, like, a water feature up here. I feel like maybe this water should, like, flow off the side of this. Oh, gosh. Oh, Nelly. I'm far away. And we did the dating tip. We did the marriage tip. We talked about Tony Bennett. Are you even near a, a house, or what are you near? What are you no. near? Oh gosh. I'm picking flowers. Oh, mama. I know. And then. I don't see my. And this here is gonna be like. Uh, did I go across there? What's that gonna do? There's nothing there. Should have brought wool with me. Should have brought. Should have, would have, could have, but she didn't. And now she's to here. Planning, or take a bed with me. Oh yeah, the seven P's of planning. Do that anymore. What's wrong with she used to. Just for a moment. Oh no, Nightbot. Novena's got married at twenty three. Although, see now here's the thing, Novena's what was the age of your hubby? Because maybe if he was like twenty seven when you got married, it all it evened out. Evened out. You're both mature. Someone told me once years ago that if oh, dear. If you're thinking about getting in a committed, uh, getting married, right? Someone said that if your ages are equal together over 50, then you're probably mature enough to be married. But if your ages together don't equal 50, it's not gonna. It, it's possible that it might not last. Possible. And there's always there's always those. I, we we know people that have gotten married where the the one of the spouses was like late teens. You know, it, it can happen, and they're happily married. I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm just saying. Ideally, I think we were at what, 27 ish? Uh, you were 26, maybe? Yeah, I was a little young. We were late 20s. We, yeah. It worked. You know. Oh, he was 24. Uh oh. Yeah, you might. No, Venus, to be honest with you. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. <laughs> he might, He might like me, leave you when you're 75. So look out. Uh -oh. you, you might want to have your escape plan. So when he yeah. does leave you at 75, you have a backup husband ready. Backup plan. Backup. You always got to have a backup spouse. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, it's it's, it's no. It, they they no, the thing about a backup spouse is the backup spouse doesn't know they're a backup spouse. Oh, okay. You surprise that on them when your spouse leaves you or dies. You go up to the backup spouse yeah. and you go, "You win." You go. No, you don't do that. You go. Wait, wait for it. I want to say something very exciting to you. My spouse is dead. And now you're the lucky lady who's going to be married to me with the 15 kids. Congratulations. It's time for you to be my backup spouse. No? Do you not normally go well, you think? And she said backup kids. <laughs> yeah. No, it doesn't go well. No, but you, I haven't never had to have that conversation with anybody. No. So I, strange. I, I always think the concept of a backup spouse is hilarious. I just find it funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's a funny idea. Why? Why don't you want me to meet that person? They're, well, they're my backup spouse. <laughs> they don't know it. Um, 
you to get to know each other. I don't want you to know each other. That'd be awkward. What if they're married? Well, I'll have to kill their spouse. I mean, duh. But, you know. Murder's bad. Don't murder people. Murder's bad. If there's one thing that I learned in school, it's that murder's bad. So don't do it a lot. Because it's bad. It's very bad. Everything doesn't float to the surface. Some things float to the surface of water. Everything still stays at the bottom. Oh, come on. When is this night going to be over? <laughs> Armo says, isn't that the same of a mi It's not the same as a mistress, Armo. There's a huge difference. Huge. So a mistress... <laughs> <laughs> this is like Navina's like, all right, kids, go to bed. Uh, a backup wife, in my in my head, is I, some. I'm not responsible for anything. He's about to say. Just a a backup you. spouse. The the person, the actual backup person, doesn't know they're the backup, and there's no actual relationship. Even it might not even be a friendship. It might even be like that person seems like they'd be a good spouse. There's nothing. And uh, sweet oblivion. Yeah, and until your spouse is dead, then the conversation would start with the backup spouse. Do you ever think about being my spouse? Would it ever cross your mind at all when I was married? It? Would you take them out for coffee? I would take them out for coffee, and oh. I'd look them in the face and say, have you ever thought about being my spouse? Like, especially like, when I was married with all those kids with my wife around. Did you ever think, like, oh, I wish I was the wife of that guy? So all your kids are older, right? So you don't have to introduce yeah. them, right? And a mistress would be someone you currently have a relationship with that you shouldn't, because that's also called adultery. And then you're, you know. Not good. Not good. Not healthy for the current marriage you're in. <laughs> marriage tip of the day number two. <laughs> Boom. That is funny. Yeah, so you see the difference, Armo? Backup spouse. You might not even high-five this person. Never touched. Mistress, you high-five often. That's all you do. Hey, it's my it's my squishy. Oh, it was so funny. People are funny. Little kids are funny. Little kids are funny. People aren't. People aren't. I'm just gonna say everything you say. Okay. Little kids funny. People aren't. Oh, you know what? I gotta start using more Little of this kids stuff. Are so cute. More of this stuff. Yeah, let's throw some of these here. I found a flower flower biome. She found a flower biome. Fifteen kids, Novena. You heard it. <clears throat> That's right. We're gonna. the 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 question would be: Are we having more? And you know what? We're gonna wait this tax season and see if those tax benefits are actually worth it for us to go to the sixteenth and seventeenth kid. Bam. Bam? I don't know what that is. You lost me. You young kids with your funky language. Buy them? Or buy them? Don't know. You lost me. I am lost. In a world... Did I lose a bucket? I thought I had two buckets. I've got a bunch of buckets, but I don't think I took my bucket. Hi, where's my bucket, lady? Did you come over bucket. here and take my bucket? I want a bucket like it's no one's business. I've got four buckets. Hey, lady. Yeah? In a world where Mama Dynamite takes my bucket. Uh -huh. Oh, biome. Mama says she found a flower biome. I she, did. Our, Novena, is that, for, for the record, <clears throat> are you making fun of how she talks? What? I think she made up a new word. She's saying you're not saying biome. You're saying biome. Biome? <laughs> flower biome? But Mama Dynamite here, she's got to find herself a flower biome. And uh, while she's looking around her new flower bomb, I'm going to put some uh, H2O down here on this little cliffside here over here. I think she made up a new word, flower bomb. Okay, always flowers. Is it daytime yet? No, it's not time. And if you don't get out here quick, we're all going to die. What? In my bomb. You're in your bomb? Uh -huh. She has a Boston Southern accent. A beautiful I, combination. I, I think I just found myself a wicked, a wicked fly by him. Okay. 
going on? Give me the water. Give me the water. Bam. Or give me peace. He just blew up on me. All right, and then we can uh. I see him. What do you see? What do you see? Da, 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 da. Ah, I see a creeper. There's a creeper right now going up the stream I made. I need to kill him or I made. Wait, what the right? There's a creeper going up the stream I just freaking made. How do I kill him without dying? Aid? I need Lady Gaga <laughs> to help me kill the creeper. No, don't blow up, you stinky creeper. Oh, he blew up. Did he wreck what you did? He didn't, which was weird because he was in water. Your Minecraft audio is reverberating, is it? <laughs> it's reverberating. I don't know how to fix that. I don't know what that means. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. <laughs> there's another creeper, there's another creeper right, right, right here. I think I should kill him now. Gonna stab him with my sword and hope he doesn't blow me to bits. Cause he's a creeper and I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. I'm gonna kill this zombie before my soul ends. Oh my gosh, I'm being surrounded by all these guys. Rosalind Goslin, help me. Hey, I'm Rosalind Goslin. I'm the cousin of Ryan Gosling, and if we weren't related, I'd be dating him. <laughs> that's what she says every time. And that's what I say every time I do the voice. At least she knows that it's appropriate. I mean, you're glad that she knows that? Yeah. So for the record, Mama Dynamite's happy that Rosalind Goslin, the cousin of Ryan Goslin, is happy to know that they're related so they, sh they shouldn't date. And that's a true statement. That's a true statement. What's this? Does this go there? What's this? That's a little stream there? A little stream? It's not almost morning. You need it's to go to, almost morning. You, it's not almost morning. It's almost morning. It's not. I see the sun's starting to come up. The sun is not. Why the sun is not coming up. It won't. <laughs> I've talked to it. It's coming. It's told me. I want you to start caring about my sound. Mama, I've come over on this song now because I really need you to call me back, Claire. No, wait, Naveen, is you... No, Venus, you said this is fake news. What's fake news? I missed what you said that for. Minecraft calls their edition. I don't know what's fake news. Fake news. Live. Local. Late breaking. All right, so we got some stone there. I think we, we, we might need some, like, uh... Some, I might have to do some of this here, maybe. Something like that. Some stone. Some about Roslyn Goslin. Oh no, that's that's a true story. Roslyn Goslin is the cousin of Ryan Goslin, and Roslyn Goslin would date him if she knew they weren't re if if she uh, if they weren't related because he's handsome. Now the fake news part of it, all that is all that I just said to you is true. Is it really? I'm, I'm telling you the story. All that is true if Roz and Gosling was a real person. Oh, gotcha. He had me too. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, we have a now an official skeleton fight. This skeleton thinks he's going to beat Jackson Dynamite, but he's not. This skeleton's running away. He's on fire, people, but not on fire in a good way. Like a guy playing basketball and doing really well. This guy is dead. He's dead. I didn't even have to even use my sword. The wow. guy just died. That all just happened, right? It here. just happened. Alive. Because you said the sun wasn't coming up. The sun came up, Diggy Rock. The sun is You here. got into your nighttime song. It's okay. You got into your nighttime song. I did. So you're saying I got into my nighttime song while the sun was coming up? 
it's my show. I can do whatever I want. It's my party. It's my party. Claire? <laughs> it's my party and I can cry if I Why want to. Why you broke to. up with me? No, I thought you broke up with me. Does that mean we're back together? <laughs> no. No, absolutely Can we all just agree? I mean, most people in this chat room right now are probably not, like, 13. If you are, good luck. But <laughs> have a good luck. Have a Back up, back up, back right. up. Hey, come back. Okay. Are we glad we're past the that stage of our life with dating? That stage, anyway? We might be older, and we might date, but wasn't that stage of, like, you like me? Do I need to be accepted? Why do I need to be accepted? Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Is that what it was like for you? It, it was bad for me. <laughs> that bad for you? Yeah, I know. It was good. It was good. You know what we're gonna do? Let's let's actually build like a let's build a what are you talking about? Trying to figure out what to take and what not to Be, take. Don't take me seriously. Yeah, Diggy Rock, that was on me. Well. Ow! Uh, because you said the sun wasn't coming up. Novenas, yes, so glad. I have no idea what Novenas is talking about. Yes, so glad. About Nappy. dating. Oh, about dating. Oh, Where yes. Where is your head? It's so gone. And Novenas is, thank you, so glad. Aren't you glad, though? Dinky Rock, I'm quad 13 plus. What does that mean? So interesting. You're quad, so you're 13 times. Whoa. Hey now. Ow. Bom. Like Ooh. Ow. Ow. Nappy says, still bad for me. Aww. Oh, Nappy. Thank you for the help, Mama. That's what Novena said. For the help? What, for the help of what? You've confused my wife. She's I, been, I she literally has been home today <laughs> watching three kids pee their pants in front of her. Three kids. We have only one kid technically in diapers, and another. three kids today were like, I just want to pee my pants in the kitchen. Is well, that so wrong? One of them was the baby. So I just was... said, we have one in diapers. Uh, okay, well. But the yeah. other ones were well, like, is that so wrong that I just pee my pants in the kitchen? One of them's only three, so that's... Yeah, but she knows how to pee on a potty. She does. She just didn't make it. <laughs> Thank you for... Oh, yeah. So, you know, Venus... Was not only she said thank you for the help, Mama. So she was not only saying yes, and then you helped me. Then she was also explaining again that she that you are helping me remember what I'm talking about. She did it twice within like three sentences. Navina's, you're welcome. Navina says, "Sounds like a great day, guys. Pee party." Yeah. So I called Mama during the day. She texts me and she's like, "You can't write this stuff." Three kids peed their pants today. So I called her and I was like. Hello, my name is Gary from the United P Association of New York. Uh, is your mother home? And then my son goes, uh, uh, yeah. And I said, could I speak to your mother, young man? And he goes, uh, yeah. Hello, what do you want? Seriously, three kids peed themselves. Hello, ma'am. I don't mean to take up a lot of your time. My name is Gary. I'm calling from the P Association of New York. Okay, I uh, seriously, uh, three kids are, they just peed. Yo, how did you know that my kids peed themselves? Well, we've had a complaint from a uh, person walking their dog by your house that it smelled like urine. So, Diggy Rock, you're welcome ahead of time. You're in trouble with the state! <laughs> you're, it, was, it was actually quite funny. It was pretty funny. One of um, the one who answered the phone. He's the one that um, got peed on, actually. He got peed he was, on. He was changing the baby's diaper, and he took too long. Oh, man. And then, you know, the hose just started squirting. His, his it, and, and the funny thing is, with my 19 kids, I haven't even been peed on. No, and he just took too long. He was playing with him and everything. I don't know why he was supposed to play with him without the diaper on first, but... 
they were playing and having fun and then he was totally shocked and grossed out that he got peed on and he was overwhelmed and it was really, really funny. But it wasn't funny because then the three-year-old peed herself in the bathroom because she couldn't get to that on time. And it just all happened in a matter of a half an hour. We had three accidents and two showers. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> There's a creeper sitting right there looking at my face. I think I wish the Minecraft had mace. I'm gonna walk on down and stroll on down and stab him with my sword and stab him in the face. He's gonna die. I'm gonna get his gunpowder. <laughs> hey, everybody, Tony Bennett. <laughs> it's a good stream. I'm feeling good about this one. This, is, this one's gonna go down in the history books of streaming. The history books. The history of the books. No, we had history books. Oh, we got lots of history room books. <clears throat> I love history. My favorite. Story. You like history? Poor guy for boys, but he's probably too old. Poor guy. Four boys, but he is probably too old. What? I don't know. <laughs> This is the problem with Twitch, man. The only problem is that you can't have everybody, you can't like be able to hear everybody, but I wish you could have trusted people. Like they came out with a new VIP thing. I wish you could have VIPs, people that you trust in your channel and you could click something. My message was modded. Still don't know what you're talking about. By auto mod. Uh, was it? But I wish I could, uh, I wish I could, uh, I have it so I could click a button and you could actually talk on your microphone and I could have you as part of the show. When my son was a baby and I was changing him, he whale spouted me, got me right in the mouth. Ew. The, the show is officially not for kids. No, just kidding. So they have PPTPs. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in, this is Jackson Dynamite and Mama Dynamite. We do a show called Couples Therapy. We talk about dating and relationship tips. We also talk about poop and pee. Because that's real life. And now we're on the subject. My uh, seven-year-old came downstairs the other day and said, Hey, uh, Dad, the five-year-old stuck his finger up his butt, and he's wiping it and telling people to smell it, that it smells disgusting. And, my, and Mama Dynamite and I just shake our heads. Wash your hands, buddy. <laughs> that's not okay. You should never do that ever. Never is that okay. Ever. There's no circumstance where that's okay. Never. Did we tell you not to do that? Because if we haven't, don't do it. They have PPTPs. I don't even understand that. It sounds gross. Kids are gross. They can be. Yes, they are. They're cute, but gross. Why do we have them? Because it's called retirement, hon. We're banking on them. We're hoping that they grow up and become productive citizens in society and that one out of 21 of these kids will be something with their lives and they will do something with themselves. I don't know. I think we're fooling ourselves. We got one kid who says the, all he wants to do is grow up and just drive around on his motorcycle. And he says, if you want to see me, Papa, if you want to see me and spend time with me, you have to get a motorcycle. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to see you. Didn't one of them today say that he was going to be an astronaut, and if we wanted to see him, we had to go visit him in space? Oh, one of them said he's if, the, if, if, if Earth decides to start putting a moon colony together, Domino told me he's going to live on the moon. And I told him, I'm never going to see you then. And then he looked at me upset, going, you're not going to come visit me? <laughs> he was totally uh, serious. And he was totally serious. And I'm like, dude. I don't even want to go on an airplane anywhere. You think I'm going to get on a space shuttle and fly to the moon to see you? I go, we can do moon Skype. We'll do moon Skype. He was not okay with moon Skype. It covers the boy while changing diapers. They have PPTPs, which cover the boys while they're changing diapers. One out of 21 will be a billionaire. Yeah, I was hoping one out of the 21 one kids will be 21. a billionaire. Yeah, 21, 21 novenas is a slight exaggeration. I mean, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yeah, so that's that's disgusting. Those people are disgusting. Ew. Yeah, those people are just, just disgusting. 
They're gross. Let's see what number we get to. <laughs> yeah, we'll see where we end up at. Mm, we only have nine, uh, 11 more years of childbearing years. We? We. Because I bear half the kids that she doesn't want to bear. That would be cool. Right now, I'm having trouble bearing. Novenus well. wanted to point out to us that we keep increasing how many kids we have. She started at 15, <laughs> then like 18, then 21. I know. Isn't that how it happens? Novenus. Novenus. Seriously. Novenus, look at me. I'm still upset that you didn't drive up here to give us um, nachos like four really, weeks ago. Really was upset. I was really hoping for those nachos, and you never came to give them. I told you the door's unlocked. Just come in the house, drop off the nachos. Um, so I'm upset about that. And uh, if we want to have 11 children, let us have 11 children. You know what I mean? If I want to sell eight of my kids on eBay to pay for the other 11's college, let me do that. <laughs> and then she says, nachos. <laughs> oh, man. Mary, uh, uh, we, we, we need to talk about married life some more. Married life. Married life. I like, I'm not 100% sold on what I'm doing here, but I like, some of it looks nice. Got to get inside. Uh, before we go, no, we're not going yet. Even though we're streaming, we're having a good time. I wanted to give you folks out there that are in relationships. <laughs> What are you doing for them? Top 10 winner date ideas. Oh, winter from a, dating. This is from a dating app. Hashtag married life. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, that didn't die with the last stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sad. Hey, ahoy there, wives, and shiver me species. Shiver me species. I think I like shiver me species a lot. Like, ahoy there, wives. <laughs> ahoy there, wives, and shiver me species. You want to talk like a pirate? Love it. Stash a camera in your pants and keep a stone a perch atop your lips. Aye. Now you'll be a real pirate. All right, let's look here. So here's 10. This, these are 10 winter-themed dating ideas that my wife and I here are going to laugh at. <laughs> Sl silver me splinters, Armo says. Silver me splinters. I feel like the longer the show goes on, the more I sink down in my chair. I feel like... <laughs> to keep readjusting? Yeah, I keep readjusting the camera oh, because I feel wild. like by the time the show's over, I'm like, I'm an old man sitting in my chair. I want you to know something about streaming. When I was a young kid, when I was young and we streamed, we had to, we had to click the buttons... And get on the, the interwebs and they connect with the, the people out there in the cyberspace. And now you kids can just blink your eyes and you're online and you're streaming. I do. I, I slug. I slug. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing the Incredibles t shirt. You don't slouch, you slug? I slug. I stopped slouching when I was younger. Now I slug. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to read this thing to you. Boom! So here's dating tips. <coughs> maybe maybe you're in a relationship. <laughs> maybe. These are, these are supposed to be legit dating tips, but my wife and I probably think these guys are... This guy should be called Grandpa Dynamite. <laughs> and now it's time for a segment by Grandpa Dynamite. We could do that every week. Hey, if these kids do get off my lawn... I swear to the thing up in the sky above the clouds, some people call him God, and I am going to come. I don't know. You could do that. You could do Grandpa Dynamite. Number 10. You sold Mama Dynamite? You want ski lessons for two? What? That's a big <laughs> commitment. And then there's a picture of two people with their skis up laying on a slope. How about... Hey, can you go to bed? I can go to bed. Oh, sure. I'm in the house. Nice. I'll just stay in bed. Number nine, take a fun workshop or class. And then it shows <laughs> it shows two people at a pottery wheel. Oh gosh. Oh man. You know, date night gaming. It's been a long time, and it's the winter. <coughs> I think you and I should take a 
pottery class. Get the romantic juices flowing. You ever see Ghost? Anyway. So good. Si oh, yeah, this is a good one. This one I, I would actually do. Sit by a crackling fire. And there's a picture of a crackling fire with people's socks. That's romantic. This one, <laughs> this one doesn't do it for me. And especially if they're labeling this as winter date ideas. Visit a museum. Well, it's not so bad. You just don't like museums. I don't. They're uh, overrated. I think that would be fun. Build a snowman's number six. What? Do you want to build a snowman? Hey, I lose my voice. Gaga, do you want to build the snowman? Ride our bikes around the hall. Ride our bikes around the hall. Why are you locked? We need the kids to sing the rest. In your bedroom. <laughs> mm, the heck's your problem? First two ideas were expensive. Yeah, they were. Uh, build a snowman was six. Do you want to build a snowman? Go to the theater. The theater. The theater. And there's a couple smiling like a bunch of weirdos. And the behind them is the Lion King, like not in the movie theater, but in like Shays, the Lion King or something. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, what else you got? Host a couple's game night. What? Who would do that? And the game that the picture they have is Tic Tac Toe. <laughs> no way. You would you know you know Are you serious? You're not gonna put Monopoly or the game of life or risk. You're gonna put a picture of tic tac toe. That's so invite weird. some friends and coworkers so who weird. are coupled up to a game night at your house. A little friendly competition is a surefire way to spice up your relationship. Wow. And it's also a great way to solidify friendship bonds with your friends. Fun games like tic tac toe. You that can try that so on your next date weird. night. Why would you put Tic Tac Toe as the game? That I mean, it's so a game, weird. and you're saying host a couple's game night. I get it. But if you're having couples over to your house... You're going to play Tic Tac Toe. You're going to play Tic Tac Toe? Novena's likes the idea of couple's game night. Oh, I yeah. think that'd be fun. We just live so Super far fun. out in the boonies. No couple ain't going to come out here. Mm -mm. Ain't no couple going to come out to see us here. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Number three. What is it? I don't even understand. It says, go to a sing-along. What is a sing-along? Besides secretly finding out if your date can hold a tune or not, sing-alongs are just, well, fun. They're think, just, well, fun? Think of it as a lively twist on the classic movie date. And with the holidays in full swing, you can wear your favorite ugly Christmas sweater to the show and make the experience that much more. Do they actually have... So th I think they're pitching here that they actually have sing-along movies where you go, buy your popcorn, sit at a movie, but they're expecting the people in the audience to sing. What? I'm going to Google it right now. It's like karaoke. Sing-along movie experience. I'm confused by this. This is weird. You get, you know what? I just typed in sing-along movie experience. Now you can sing along with Moana in theaters. What? Oh, you did. Oh, I just opened a can of worms. Who does this? We do now. <laughs> Honey. Oh my gosh! Can you guys hear this? What? Well, it's uh, 45 years since the most audio? successful movie musical of all time debuted, and now you can sing along to the sound yeah, of music. We can sing today's along to the sound of along to join in the yodeling. Yeah, so here it is, guys. Here it is. Sydney is alive with the sound of music. There's girls dancing in the streets. With curtains missing across the city, they came in their herds. Goats. Do you sit? Oh my gosh, it's literally... It's literally a movie theater full of people who love the sound of music and sing along with the movie. Oh, no, Venus, I'm there. Is this real life? Mama wants to go to a sing-along. Yes, she says. <laughs> Night, Bob. Be nice. I never even heard of that before, so no. way to go. So apparently there's a thing called a sing-along. You know, the funny thing is, though, if you 
enjoyed singing and that your date liked this would be like a cool pre-married thing if you were getting to know someone and you knew you both liked singing like even if you like shower singing you're in a movie theater it's dark going to see like west side story mary poppins sound of music and singing along be kind of cool novena says that nightbot doesn't share her excitement <laughs> all right this is also unrealistic have a spa day number two probably do it but it sounds awfully expensive and weird. oh yeah i don't know if i'd want to see his feet this actually is funny that this is the number one thing that you should do what 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 sunday morning cartoon date sunday morning cartoons yeah it says wear your comfy pjs pour two bowls of your favorite cereal invite your date over to watch some cartoons with you on a sunday morning Nothing triggers childhood memories like old cartoons. Wouldn't you do it on a Saturday morning? Well, the person who wrote this article probably is in a Nimrod. Isn't that a Saturday morning thing? It is. I. I oh, that's so weird. Yeah. Who I watched? Do that on who a here in the channel watched <clears throat> Sunday morning cartoons? Do they even have Sunday morning cartoons? I never watched Sunday morning cartoons. I don't think there are cartoons on a Sunday. I mean, now you have cartoons anytime you want, but. No, no Venus. I don't mean Saturday. The article actually says Sunday morning cartoons. That's so bizarre. <clears throat> Nappy says your new teammate would love this idea. <laughs> oh, she certainly would. She's probably sure. listening right now. Oh, that's right. She has your handle, doesn't she? Hey, new teammate. Movie sing-alongs, huh? Maybe we should do that for a happy hour. Saturday morning cartoons. That is what everybody grew up with. We, ne we did not so grow up in a Sunday morning. No Armo, Armo says Sunday morning was wrestling day. Yes. Sunday, you know what? Sunday was, back in the day, <laughs> WWF wrestling. I remember that. That's funny. I, there might have been some on Saturday. But Saturday was just, it was just cartoons. Like 6 a.m. to like 10 or 11. Yeah. It was the whole morning. Nappy had Abbott and Costello for him after church every Sunday. Interesting. Well, I should probably delete that before I forget the things there. Winter day. Well, that, those are your ideas. Winter date ideas, folks. We have wrestling at the chase. Loved that, says Armo. All right. We made a little bit of headway with this... Uh, with this stream or creek or water feature or whatever you want to call this thing. The creek like Lovely. creek like water feature. So are we doing a competition? Oh yeah, we were supposed to do an underwater uh, underground competition. That's the kind of mining something. Zimini solves a problem like Maria. That's how she sings, really. I lost my other bucket. Where's Are my you other? Doing a sing -along movie? I am. Yeah, we we uh, Armo says yeah. Old black and white movies are awesome. Oh, yeah, it's so true. Are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, we've talked about that. That's good. I like that. All right, you have a crazy cool pick, right? Uh, it has mending, fortune <clears throat> three, and efficiency five. Yep, that's what I got. <clears throat> exactly. Yes, one hundred percent. Really? Yeah, I gave you. I gave you the same tools. Oh. I wanted you to have. Hey, this is Tony Bennett. I wanted you, darling, to have the same tools that I had when we made. So where am I going? <clears throat> Do I go to where you are? No, I can come. I can come to you. All right, here's what we're gonna do, folks. What should be the goal? So we're trying to have a mining challenge to end the episode. A mining challenge. I think we just need to see in a certain amount of time who gets the biggest loot. Like, not the most loot, but the best. So, like, a, a diamond is the best. Yeah. An emerald is second best. Yeah. Gold. Blue stone. Lapis, I mean, would be, iron, like, the, the third. Redstone. Like, yeah, we just have to put values on everything. I add my kids' names into the song. How do you solve a problem like kids' name? <laughs> How do you solve a problem like too loud? Yes. How do you solve a problem How like... How do you? Glitter. How do you solve a problem Yeah, like the problem I have, Novenas, is with, when you have 14 children, it's just hard to keep the names right in those songs. That's confusing. I should have probably dumped all my... 
all my goods. <laughs> I probably should dump all my goods over here first. You'll see all the beautiful flowers that I have had in here. Um, yeah, about that. I don't look at flowers anymore. Oh, you've got to come with me to the flower biome. Claire! Fun. What do you want? What is your name again? Claire. What's your name? My friends call me Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. What do you want? Hi, Claire. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Claire? Yes? I'm Sebastian. Sebastian. Claire? Do you like Sebastian? Sebastian likes you. Sebastian likes talking in the third person. Where should I come to? Are you back at the competition Sebastian's cottage? not done with the music. Oh, sorry. Sebastian needs you to focus. I'm Claire. You're Claire. I'm Claire. Guess who I am. I'm Sebastian. Hi, Claire. Claire? 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 The song's over. Oh, it's dark. Oh, here I come, Claire. Where are you? Oh, switch screens, Nappy. Where are you? Blap. Blap. Where are you? I'm coming. Relax. Right, coming to where? I'm so coming. The sun is setting. Jackson Dynamite doesn't really know how to use Twitch. Tony Bennett does the sound of music. What's the song in that? What's the movie in the song? In that? I'm going to sleep the night away. We got to do this during the day. Well, we're going to be underground, so I guess it doesn't matter, huh? I can sleep. Come and sleep. Where are you? What's a good, what's the song? Oh. Uh -huh. Me and Lady Gaga's got a song for you folks that are from a new album that Gaga and I are creating. Songs from the movies. <clears throat> you are 16, going on 17. You <laughs> Baby, this is all right. Shall we dance some more in this gazebo some more? Hi, cutie. While it rains outside. Uh, <laughs> I'm a Nazi and you're married to that guy. What? Should we empty out our inventory? I already did. You empty your inventory. Okay. Everything? Take everything yes. Out? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for the Minecraft Couples Therapy Edition Competition. All right, what do you have with Terms you? What do you have with you? Microphone's cutting in. There we go. It's back. It's back. What do you have on you? I have all my tools and I have food. So you have your four tools and you have. We need. I need torches. Yes, we do. Because if we're underground. I just ate. Underground. Can we make you some torches? Sure. So I don't need a compass and I don't need my boat? No, you don't. No. Okay. No. <coughs> You're ready? making torches? Yeah, ready? Here they come. Boom. Boom. 64. Two, two piles of 64? Two piles of 64. You want, you want two piles of 64 torches? <coughs> I, got, I got two piles of 64 torches for you. Where is our mine? What happened? We're, we're not going to go to a mine. We're gonna. We're just gonna walk into a field and dig down. Oh. All right. So is here's that the what we're doing? here's the competition rules. Diamonds are the best. Emeralds are second. Blue lapis is third. Oh. Redstone oh, is fourth. Is not Redstone is four. I'm sorry about and the then horse. probably then gold, then iron, and then coal. Where are we headed? So um, let me let me grab my timer. Are you getting your horse? I'm on battle horse because he was really. Uh, and what's my horse's there. name? Prego. Prego Mr. and Popo? Mr. Popo and Prego, you, I'm following you. We're just gonna go into a field. Are you on a horse? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're following me. Yeah. Uh, well, we have no leads, so we can't even. Yeah, where are we gonna leave our horses? <laughs> we're gonna leave our horses in the ditch. Is what we're gonna do. Um, should we bring them? No, we'll just dig a ditch. Okay. Where are you? I don't know. 
You I'm still, are you still in the woods? I'm trying to get out. I'm getting stuck under the trees. We're at not the very horse friendly. Hello, hello. Hello. Well, thank you again for joining us. This is Jackson Dynamite with. There's a cliff here with Mama Dynamite. <laughs> And we are playing Couples Therapy. We're finishing up the stream, but here's how we finish our streams. We try our best to have some sort of competition. The competition tonight is a very simple one. It's called mining. We're going to basically it's dig. Called it's called mining. We're going to dig down. Diamonds are the best. Emeralds are second best. Lapis is third. Redstone is fourth. Gold, iron, and coal. Did I miss anything that we'd find? Everything else is trash and garbage. Garbage. Total garbage. Absolute total garbage. Okay, so we have nothing to box in our horses. Yeah, we, uh... We Jackson Dynamite, somebody's following you. Somebody followed me. Day, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. The next stream we have will be on Tuesday, possibly. It's Christmas. If I can get the kids sleeping, I am more than happy to stream on Christmas. Is this my horse? Which one's your horse? Hold on, I'm just gonna... you digging your own horse pit? Oh, are you digging a pit? I dig a, I dig a pit. Oh, that's funny. There's a pit right there. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. So I get my horse and bring it there? Well, that was quick, Day. That was very quick. What happened? Well, Day followed. And Day decided to say some pleasantries that I'm just like, you know what? Where's the pit? Ba 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 ba. Oh, that's awfully tight. That's for both horses? Yeah, just throw your horse down there. Oh, battle horse. So we know start. what we have to mine for, and that's going to be great. We're going to mine. Oh, oh, hold on, Mama Dynamite. One second. I just want to get under. Whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take cover, Mama. Take cover. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm going to launch him. The jets are coming again. The jets are coming again. Somebody's following you. Dad, thanks for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it very much, but the jets have been fuel, man. Oh, man. Oh, bummer. Oh, bummer. All right. Let's do this. Let us do this. Let us. So, the horses. What are you doing? Are you actually. You want to just start there? Uh, I guess if you want to. I could empty my inventory. I, uh, you have a chest? Yeah. You have a way to build a chest? Uh, Thanks, Nappy. Appreciate it. I keep that, that Air Force base is way too close. I, we have to make sure that we... It's like between this stream and the next week's stream, we need to make sure we let them know that the nights were streaming. Uh, I think having the jets like... Having them so close, I think, it's just, it's just kind of distracting. No. That's just what I think. But This competition needs to happen, Mama. Where are you? Are you chickening out? Are you fleeing the scene? No, I'm Get to empty back my over here. And, and mine like it's no one's business. So, so, so. So, 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 I'm. What? No. Yes. Totally gone. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Hey, Jackson, you ready for this? I uh, can't hear me. Can't hear me. What's what putting me now? Oh, come on. So, what does that mean for us? That means we're going to have to... I don't know. Let me get my phone. Let me get my timer. Be right back. Protect me. Oh, yeah, sure. Protect me. I'll protect you. These poor horses. Two minutes sounds good. Where are we? We're just gonna jump in here and dig where the horses are. 
Or yeah. are we going to pick a different place? No, it's, we can go as long as the horses can't get <coughs> down where we are. Yeah, that's probably... As long as the horses can... Ah, they're getting out. What? What did I do? Oh, no. What's your horse's name? Prego? Uh, Prego. Prego. Get in there. All right, there we go. How do they get out? They, they, we, we fixed it. You just threw my shovel. That's not Jackson Dynamite. It's Mr. Incredible. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, no, I just collected all the stuff you threw in here. It's it's fine. That stuff doesn't count for our mission. No, but it's all bogging up my inventory. Well, you're, you're come on. You're not going to win and have that much stuff. I so am. You have no idea. I've been training for this. The Venus, thank you for calling me incredible. I appreciate it. He is Mr. Incredible. Oh. He's my incredible. Oh, let's get this thing going Actually, here. the whole family has t-shirts. Yeah, we got matching tees. Okay, let's start up here so we're not near the, the animals. Is that okay? I am looking at a horse's rear. <laughs> yeah, come on out of there. Hey. <laughs> get out of there. Get out of the I'm horse's like This horse is kissing me. Okay. Oh, I, I know. I'm wearing this shirt. I'm wearing this shirt. Where are you? Get out uh, of there. I'm trying to put the stop, the, the timer on. Okay. Okay? Okay. What time is it? 11, 11.50 Eastern Standard Time. So we're going to go down here. We're going to go on. Are you cheating? What are you doing? I'm just getting down Edit. to the rock. And you can come in here. Right Set. 11.54. Come here. Is it really that late already? Yeah. All right, uh, here we go. Where, Where are, are you? you? <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Okay, I'm in here. You coming? No, I can't see. There you are. Okay. We're going down? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah, go. It's going to go off at 11, 11.54. It gives okay. us about two and a half minutes. Go? Yeah. Look for a ketchup. Careful digging down. So, emeralds, uh, diamonds are the best. Emeralds are second. Redstone's third. Or, I mean, blue lapis is third. Redstone is fourth. You're supposed to never dig down in Minecraft, so one of us might just die, which is possible. Is iron good for anything? Oh, iron's in there somewhere. That's Iron's probably above coal. There is lava nearby, so be careful, because there is um, uh, a lava field thing over there. Okay, I hear the lava. Do you really? I do. Ew. Get whatever you can. Coal, iron, all the ores Two mean minutes. something. We'll see what we get. And you folks will judge. You folks will judge. We gotta get Mama's screen going soon and see if she or her computer can uh, handle handle streaming. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> this doesn't handle much. Oh gosh. Big money, big money. Ching Chong. Sorry, man, we're doing a competition. I cannot watch or read anything that you're saying, but thank you so much. Appreciate you coming by the channel. Would love to follow so you know next time we stream. How are we going to get out of and, here? And uh, what I can do for you, because we're just going to go back and dig back up. <laughs> um, another time. Jackson Dynamite, somebody's following thank you. Thank you for the follow. What I can for do for you is, having never watched what you sent me, I'll just react. What was that I just saw? Oh my gosh! Oops. How much time do we have left? Oh. It's gonna go off soon. I guess we didn't really equate points to anything, did we? No, you said they were gonna decide, so we're up to. You win by. Of course, they're gonna make you win. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Of course, they're gonna make you win. I am so gonna win this one. I've got the popular vote. I'm already underground. I'm already underground. The stupid Air Force Base. Oh, that's okay. it. Stop, 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 hands stop. Up, hands stop. Up, hands, stop. Up, hands, hands up, hands up, hands up. Okay. Hands up. Dismiss.
Nappy, just... yeah. Good thing, Nappy, I was underground. I, I heard the... Like I told you, the Air Force Base is so close to where we are. All right, do we crazy. just come up to the top, or do we do it down here? No, we go up to the top. i got to find where I came into this cave. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So again, mark this down. We, this is another competition that we've done tonight. Oh man, I don't call out things that people say to me when they <laughs> when the jets come in. But this, this guy just called me a redneck. I just thought it was funny. Redneck. Yeah, funny. that was a good one. There's a spider up here. Really? Hey, mama, there's a spider in my pants. A spider in my pants. Get out of here. Where did I go? Again, I saw the spider, and I gave him a glance. But there he was, looking back at me. Hey, everybody, there's a spider in my pants. It's definitely not daylight. Oh, oh yeah, it's bag time creatures. Oh my gosh. My favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to fight some more skeletons. We've got a field of bad guys, and what I don't have is health and stamina. Stan, stan, stamina, 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 stamina. But I'm gonna try my best to make sure that this guy knows who is their boss. Who's your daddy, Skeleton? Who's oh my gosh, Mom, I saw the explosion go off. Oh no. And the vote's not in. Mama needs to stay alive. Jackson needs to stay alive. Killing him with a chicken. Everything. Oh, I'm coming over there. We should go back to the maybe we should go back to the village. Oh my gosh. We're gonna leave our horses in the field. I'm just running. Are you okay? Yeah, we can leave our horses in the field. I can help you if you need help. Ah! There's lots of spiders. I'm running ah! by spiders. I can't run anymore. I'm you running. won't. Oh you won't. This is oh not good. Gosh. Just run. Don't die. Oh. I gotta see your inventory. Just run. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my this gosh. is crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna fight well, you. Definitely not on here. There's creepers everywhere. Oh We're gosh, going getting, to getting, die. I, have, whoa. I don't have a bow and arrow. Okay, I'm just trying to get in. Just the follow game. the wall. Follow the wall. Yep, follow yep. the wall. Follow the wall. Follow okay, the wall. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Are you in? You're in? No, not yet. Where, okay. How did you get in? Where's the entrance There's that you went? The entrance over here by the glowstone. Go to the glowstone. Uh, There's oh. crazy, creepy spiders that are crawling up here, though. Oh, I can't go in that way. Oh I am gosh. not going oh in gosh. that way. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I they're I am blinking not. Blinking red. Why are they blinking red? I am. They're so angry at you. Oh my gosh! They're angry. No, oh David the company. I died. No. I don't know what I had. I don't know what you had either. Oh, that's so not fair. Where am I? I respond in a weird place. Where am I? Where is this? Where's the last place you slept? No, this iron doors. Where Where do we have iron doors? Oh, in the basement of the Alamo. Seriously, where are there iron doors? I don't remember. I don't know where I am. Where did you come into this place? Oh, I'm in the bottom of our warp block. Place. Oh, there's the your stuff. One. Oh, Jackson, that's not fair. All right, where I, are I you? see the spider. I see the spider that killed you. Yeah. Well, I was I, trying to kill him with a I cooked killed chicken. It. <laughs> I look. Oh, there's another one. There's two that were creepy with the, the squiggly yeah, the red squiggly things. Lines. Let's see if I can find a chest. <laughs> Empty what chest. What about my stuff is there? Your, your stuff's here. All of it? I, it's got to be there. <clears throat> It's got to be there. This is fair. I'm going to collect all right, it I'm all. I'm warping over there. Okay. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Okay, where right. am I? So this is my redstone and my gold. Let's see, my iron. Oh my everything gosh. else in inventory is trash, right? Yeah. So everything else here is trash. So if I get your stuff before it disappears. Hold on. I'm just trying to grab this over. Do I have any tools here? What is this? Shovel. I got your thing. Oh, I'm Anything so fall upset. out there? Yeah, I get this out of there. I 
couldn't even stop to look at the Okay, guys. A little freaked out there. A little freaked out. We have a hard time. I'm just gonna play the part. We got a hard time fighting zombies. We got we got a hard time with the zombie fighting going on. Oh my gosh. Zombies and fighting and stuff. So what are those weird red spider things? They're just like poison spiders, mama. What kind of poison? They poison. They you gotta just be careful because they poison us. Do you know what kind of poison? They I have? don't know. Seen ones with the red. I don't know what kind of poison they are. All right, I'm coming over All to right. the village. I'm in uh, the treetops right now. I think, I don't know, did you get redstone? Did you get iron? What did I got lots of iron, lots of coal. I got some gold. Lots of iron and coal. I don't lots. see any iron. Lots and lots. I was really surprised and proud. Oh, there's a hat down here. Okay, I'm in the village. Where are you? GJ again, Nappy. Good job again. Oh, good job. She's saying good job. Um, I'm in the village, but I'm over where you died, and I'm trying to. I think did a, did a creeper kill you or? No. no. Creeper didn't kill me. It was that spider. I got stuff over here. There's iron in the in the the beet patch. Oh, cool. I'm glad you found that. Okay. So up here, there's two chests. The one on the right is your chest. I found, I found like your hats and stuff, cobblestone. The one on the right is mine. Yeah. So I put all the stuff. Stu I put all your stuff in there, all your equipment and stuff. And if you haven't seen, uh, this is Mama Dynamite's new skin. If you haven't seen her skin. Look. Cute, cute, cute. Wow, fourteen children and look, look at you've been working out, girl. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Put my clothes back on. Put your clothes back on. Bow and arrow? Get out of here. There's still bad guys out there. Yeah, there's tons of bad guys out there. Alright, so this is the end this is the end of the show, and we're gonna find out. No Venus, it's we have seventeen children. Okay? You need to get the number correct. It's embarrassing if you don't remember. I I it's, I thought you were even younger than us, but for you to have the disease that causes you to forget things. Nappy says Jackson wins. I have two stacks, three stacks of redstone, 12 iron, nine gold. <laughs> no I have penis. more practical ores. I won. Where'd you find all the redstone? How I just, far down did you go? I did. I just went down to bedrock. Oh, you just went straight down. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, after a death and spider death. Oh. What's the called? I forgot. What's that called? Death. The fall. The thing. Jackson Dynamite wins. Out of all the competitions we've had, it's like 375 wins and one loss. What? 350 wins, one loss. Well, if we're comparing iron, I sure beat you because I had 32. And I had more coal. I so. have 32 iron. I just put 32 in there. Oh, I have 12 iron. Yeah, and I had 35 coal. So I beat you with coal. That doesn't, it doesn't matter. Iron, that doesn't matter. That makes me feel a little bit well, better. Feel, uh, yeah, you did get a little. And those are good things. We need those. We can yeah. smelt those down. That's kind of fun. Because so we get a lot more stuff let's that we do a, Let's do a belly bop. Belly, bo belly, oh, bop, belly right? bop. Here we go. Ready? Uh, bop. Bop. Oh. You, you, uh, you go through me? Okay, me. ready? Try it. Let me, let me do a... Uh, oh, what are you uh, throwing me? Did I throw something at you? Yeah. Did, you? did you just get it? I don't know what it you is. You got my sword. What? Give me yeah. back my sword. Hey, give me my sword. Get it. Give me my sword. <laughs> hey. Oh, my gosh. That's not... F she's so... Why does she do these things to me? Come find me. Oh, my name tag. <laughs> Sword, oh, please. Died. Sword. Oh. All right. I'll throw your sword. Sword. Is that one yours? I think they're the same. Anyways, <laughs> end of the show. <laughs> you can't hide with this. If you guys want to, we'll do the we'll do the exit of the show. Uh, we'd love you to stick around because we try to pass on the love. That's the whole point of Twitch, is that if uh, if we can get ten of you to stick around for a little while, 
uh, even for five minutes in a new channel and just say hi to the person that's there, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. So I'm going to see who's on, see if there's someone from our community on. And as always, I try to find streamers. I know we've got people from our community, but I try to find streamers that I myself uh, know are kid-friendly in case people from different time zones are watching with their kids because our show tries to be pretty kid-friendly. So let us try this. But anyways, thanks for watching Couples Therapy. My name is Jackson Dynamite. This is my mama Dynamite. And this is, uh, this is the place where you go for your couple's uh, advice, your dating advice and your marriage advice. Come to us first. Come to us first. <laughs> what? We'll help you. We'll help you. And uh, we'll see who else is streaming. But until next time, we love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So I'm going to take you to... Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Diggy Rock, Armo, Novenas, thank you so much. Nappy, of course, as always, thank you. And for the followers we've gained tonight, thanks for the followers. I'd love to see you all back. Uh, I'm going to take you to the Bob Ross of Minecraft. Merry Christmas, everybody. Looks like he might be leaving. Hold on. He says, thanks for watching. Well, hold on. Armo just donated a thousand bits. <laughs> Armo, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you too, buddy. Appreciate that very much. Eight viewers. Let's take you guys. This guy seems, um, this is a new guy. He's a bigger on YouTube, but he does stream on here. His name is Terrace. He's a Minecrafter. And he's been pretty family friendly. I've watched him a few times. So let's take you over to Terrace. He built some really cool stuff, which is why I kind of hung out with him. But he always seems super friendly. So let's see if you guys give him a follow or give him a like. Uh, he's got a bigger channel than me, but maybe he'll appreciate this. But see you again. Thank you for all the donations and the and the bits and everything. Uh, community is awesome, and we'll see you guys next time. Uh, I might stream Tuesday. We'll see. But stick around. Give this guy five minutes. Hang out with him. Say hi. Tell him Jackson Dynamite sent you. And uh, we will see you next time on Couples Therapy Minecraft next Friday around 930-ish. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Help us give. 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 Help us give.